Tajikistan ham shunda davlat emas. As an independent state and a full member of the world community, Tajikistan is making steady steps in the situation of clash of civilizations and threats against human and achieving strategic goals which are recognized by the world's largest countries. And this civilized country with a population of less than 10 million is not a way of political threats and global challenges. In this sensitive time, we must be politically prudent, thankful for the millennia-old traditions of state-building and statehood of our free ancestors and make great efforts to achieve our current independent state. It should not be forgotten that freedom and independence are are the most sacred and highest achievements of the nation and thousands of brave Tajik sacrificed bloods for the glorious peace of freedom and patriotism. Tajikistan's state independence, a triumph of historical justice and the symbol of Tajik people's pride is not the only result of the collapse of the Soviet Union. The freedom movement of our ancestors lasted for thousands of years. At the beginning of the 20th century, it gained a new meaning, and dedicated, far-sighted scientists and intellectuals should not be forgotten. In today's society of dear Tajikistan, where national unity and peace are restored, there is no need for ideological struggle. However, the majority of Tajiks are Islam believers. Unfortunately, there are people who use drugs and try to mislead. The people using religious and extremist ideas and tricks of foreign masters, a group of traitors has brought a new tragedy to this suffering nation of history. As a result of the civil war in independent Tajikistan, more than 150,000 young men have been killed. The 5,000 children were orphaned and more than 28,000 women and mothers left unmarried. More than 1 million people in the country became refugees and the Tajik economy suffered more than $10 billion damage. It is possible to calculate the moral damage. Isn't that a lesson? What more do we want? We look at the events of the world today. The main topic is coronavirus or COVID-19. Coronavirus, COVID-19. The world's great power cannot get rid of it. The country which claimed to be the world's richest state, the United States, the one which colonized the great India for 300 years, the United Kingdom, the country that opened up the America continent, Spain and the citizens of other rich countries brought millions of patients, tens of thousands of people lost their lives as a result of this infection diseases. The list goes on and on, but there is no need. The people of the world feel the tragedy of humanity and understand that even if they cannot with material assistance, at least express sympathy. The issue is about Tajiks, Tajikness, coronavirus and shame and honor. Everyone knew and knows that this universal tragedy could not ignore our country. Now this misfortune has knocked the doors of Tajik homes. The news of the tragedy is heard. People are treated in hospitals and in their homes with the help of doctors. 
Thankfully, most of them are healed. The state, which is rich of oil and gas and other natural resources, is making every food fight to save the lives of its inhabitants. Physicians and ordinary doctors work for 24 hours to save life of the people, and this way they sacrifice. They do not consider it a heroic deed. They think that such an attitude is normal for them. It's an honor, it's patriotism. Such a war showed the human spirit of Tajiks. Now everyone comes to the funeral day, some with anticipation, a secret joy fake smiles want to kill the dead body owner again. They are among the ignorable men in the world. In order to carry out the instructions of the foreign masters, they put their dirty hands on the computer and finally, with their ideology, illiterately try to say strange words about the Tajik people. Of course, this is not without reason. They live somewhere, they belong to a foreigner, they take money from a foreigner, they try to bring ideas on the paper from the instructions of Kabiri, Salimpur, Istaravshani. Even naming them makes one's mouth dirty. It is shameful someone by name Muhammad Iqbal Sadruddin. Former members of the Islamic Resistance Party call themselves of opposition and commit terrorist acts on behalf of their foreign masters. This kind of people follow the logic of where there is sausage, there is a feed. The anti camps where they threat to the independence of the motherland and for them such behavior is a kind of pride. First of all, government agencies have been able to effectively manage the crisis and lead the people to peace and prosperity. Since the official announcements of the epidemic in the country, the government has devoted all its efforts to overcoming the problems that have arisen and has shown to the whole world the unity and solidarity of the state and the people. During 15 days in the territory of the capital, Sputi Ground Bufanda Temporary Hospital, mobile clinics for 300 people and in the sport complex managed for 250 people opened up with all modern equipments. An additional 3,500 beds were provided for treatment despite the difficult economic situation and the outbreak of the pan of the epidemic the government sent the mobilized all resources to the people of all districts first of all Khorasan district which was affected by the floods 57 tons of food products including flour oil sugar construction materials cement and wood and mobile tents were sent to the flood affected villagers of the district in difficult condition for the country to protect the health of its residents a number of university dormitories in the country have been temporarily converted into hospitals where doctor three patients one of the buildings is the dormitory of the national university which has 12 floors and a basement inside there are 650 beds for treating people with infectious diseases it should be noted that in Dushanbe there are 30 hospitals with 5,284 beds and 5,390 doctors and medical staff with patients infected in COVID-19. According to the Ministry of Health and Social Protection of the Republic of Tajikistan, more than 7,500 doctors and 25,000 mid-qualified doctors have been sent to 85 hospitals of the country. In addition, 7,600 doctors and more than 24,000 mid-level medical staff have been trained in primary health care facilities in the country. Present, the country has allocated more than 45 million somoni from the state budget to provide hospitals with medicines. <laughs> The 
present, the country has allocated more than 45 million somoni from the state budget to provide hospitals with medicines, medical supplies, and self-protection materials to fight against these diseases. In connection with the prevention of infectious disease in 86 cities and districts of Tajikistan, humanitarian aid of sanitation and food was provided. Within the framework of this measure, two hospitals and rehabilitation centers in Dushanbe, regional hospitals in Khujand, Kulob, Bokhtar and Khorukh, as well as central hospitals in the cities and districts of the country received medicines and special protective clothing. neighboring Uzbekistan in order to prevent and eliminate the consequences of the infectious disease COVID-19, despite its alarm situ alarming situation, has provided our country with humanitarian aid in the amount of 2,000 tons and septics, supplies and medical transport, 144 mobile medicine wagons and medical teams. The Republic of Tajikistan also provided friendly assistance to the victims of the Sirdaria region of the Republic of Uzbekistan through construction materials. Let's take a look at the disgusting faces of those who in these difficult days the nation and the homeland are also at the service of the masters showing no courage striking against their state and compatriots. Who are they and what more do they want? Who makes a mistake can be forgiven, but who betrayed will not be forgiven. The terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party has failed and couldn't achieve its nefarious goals. For many years, the organization has been training superstitious and, and fanatical slaves and extremists. It still intends to continue his heinous act. At one point, the leaders of this terrorist party were able to destroy the entire nation and Tajiks across the Buddha, but thanks to the loyalty of its noble and courage children, it survived. In addition, the nation has forgiven lost and murdered sons and gave them the opportunity to be corrected. However, the spiritual fathers of this terrorist organization did not give up their, host their hostile intentions against the young state of Tajikistan. The video testifies to the betrayal of the leaders of members of the former Is Islamic extremist terrorist organization, especially Kabiri. Among the major crimes committed, Kabiri giving amount of 1 million 200,000 US dollar to Haji Halim in 2015 to complete the coup d'etat in Tajikistan. In connection with this heinous crime, the documentary does show those people who were deceived and made false by promises of Kabiri and were eventually imprisoned. Rahmatuloy Mahmad Ali Tishayevich was born in 1962 in Baghdad city, nationality is Tajik, married, brother-in-law of Muhyiddin Kabiri, HR of Binakor Service Company, resident of Jamuad Burunov, Jalchi village, Baghdad city. In November 2016, he was sentenced by the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan for one year of imprisonment under Article 347, Part 1 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan. As a resident of a beautiful Kasamdara village, I'm going to say you, Kabiri, you shamefully fled from the village and shame the villagers. You have embarrassed the villagers with all the slanders and wars they are talking about on media. People cannot forgive you. With the money you get from abroad, you and your children have a good life there. 
and bragging that as the people of Tajikistan and the state cannot assume to prevent the virus. Saif of Hikmatullah Kudratovich, born in 1973, native of Dushanbe, Tajik by nationality, educated, married, has four children, driver of the former chairman of the terrorist extremist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party, Muhyiddin Kabiri, resident of Dushanbe city, Shah Mansur district, having address to Chinor Imam Street 25. In November 2016, he was sentenced by the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan to one year of imprisonment under Article 347, Part 1 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan. Everyone knows that you don't have a general city, compassion, mercy, and you don't have it now. You are not a religion defender and the warm-hearted for the people, only you think for your wealth. I consider it necessary actions and just want to reveal your betrayal to the people. I was not your driver, I was just your slave. Now you have a good life in Europe with your followers many. Would you send assistance from this amount? Isn't that a shame? I regret for the times I spent with you. Nazrulloyev Jamshed Ismatulloyevich, born in 1974, native of Dushanbe, educated, Tajik by nationality, cousin of Muhyiddin Kabiri, former director of Binokor Service Company, resident of Faizobot District, Mehrobot Jamuat, Shukri Village. In November 2016, the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan sentenced him for one year of imprisonment under Article 347, Part 1 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan. Hey Kabiri, despite the difficulties we have in the country, even you are going to trouble our independent country. We know you didn't benefit for the people during your deputed time. Only we heard about your own business. Everyone who believes you will be deceived. You receive money from your actions. Only losers believe you. You have bought the infection hospital and sold it by parts. You get money for your actions with your beliefs. You tell liars to the people and you are traitor to the people. Faizobot is one of the most beautiful districts of Tajikistan. Its residents, like other mountain residents of the country, are engaged in gardening, agriculture, handicrafts and animal husbandry. Distinguished residents of the district are proud of their great children like Safar Ali Rajabov, Bozor Sobir, poet. <laughs> Dushmani sanat furushash, sanat behzor burd, dushmani behkhonash, dar khonay u jodid. People's singer of Tajikistan, Nigina Raufova. Singh Dusmurod Aliyev, political figures and dozens of others. Qasamdara village is subordinated to Mehrobot Jamuad of this district and its residents live and work with gratitude for the independence of the country. Qasamdara is an Arabic word, means off. People living in this village all are devoted to their homeland and to their pursuing for their daily bread. Unfortunately, after many years, a resident from this village by name Muhyiddin Kabiri betrayed to the nation and people. It's not a lot. The hey. Kasandara village Mehrobot community in Faisalbodesri locates in a beautiful landscape. 
According to old man, if a baby born in this family, the father swore that he will raise his children in patriotism to the state and nation. Unfortunately, children growing up in this village and broke the belief of their grandfathers and betrayal to the people. Take a look at the biography of one of the natives of this village, who is the former chairman of the Islamic Revival Party. Where did he come from? Now let's look at the real face of the current leader of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, Muhyiddin Kabiri, propagating political Islam in the Western countries and planning for terrorist programs within the narrow religious sects. Muhyiddin Kabiri, Kabiri of Muhyiddin Tiloyevich. He was born in 1965 in Kasandar village, Faizobot district, leader of the terrorist extremist organization, former Islamic Renaissance party, lives in Germany, married and has seven children. In 1997, he came to Dushanbe from Moscow, Russia, served for three years as an assistant and advisor to the leader of Tao, former Islamic IRP, deceased. Said Abdullah Nuri and in 2000 with support of Nuri became the deputy became the deputy chairman of CEO of the former IRP after death of Said Abdullah Nuri in 2006 Muhyiddin Kabiri was appointed the leader of this terrorist extremist organization Due to the religious nature of his father, Kabir of Tilo, he began to study basic religious issues in childhood and adolescence. This wrong step was destined for a young Muhyiddin, whose future was dangerous not only for himself, but for the whole nation. He was always under the inf influence of extremist clergy. As a result, his personality was shaped as a fanatical extremist. For that time, leadership it was revenged and, most importantly, for the foreign owners of the terrorist party. The creators of this ideology are the real enemies of the holy religion of Islam, and its directors are farmers for whom the concepts of the motherland, nation, human and civilization are of no value. Gradually, his path becomes smooth. With the support of the leadership of the Tao, the former IRP, under the guardians of his teacher, Himad Zoda, was sent to the Arab Republic of Yemen to study the teachings of the Shia religion and continue his education in Islamic schools. In Yemen, Kabri was influenced by ideological extremism and has become a full-fledged extremist political school follower. After the defeat of opposition groups in war 1990s, Kabri was mobilized by the leaders of the former IRP to Moscow, Russia. According to the order, with the funds allocated by the religious sects cycles, of the special services of the Muslim country known to the Tajiks for the material support of the party's members, he did business. At the same time as a becoming person to use the prospect activities party, he was in the spotlight of the special services of a particular country because in some ways met their needs. First, despite his education in modern universities, his ideology of ignorance and religiosity has not changed. Second, despite his young age, he had a passion for wealth which made him attractive for the use of provocative and based biased plans against the state. Third, he was ambitious and place hunter. Fourth, he has a delusive image which at first glance makes him took makes him look humble and submissive. Tempting work helps him to trick a literate crowd of people.
At that certain historical period in the days when all the leaders of the party fought for the distribution of tasks in accordance with the 30-person norm and each of them demonstrated their services and achievements, Kabiri's inclusion in the party's leadership is a further evidence, the further evidence of his links to the foreign founders of the former IRP. Just after he became the leader of a terrorist organization, the influence of religious bigotry grew within the party. Each year, hundreds of religious leaders were invited to attend various conferences and seminars, as well as religious and terrorist training courses from the countries known for Tajiks. There were dinners, meals, stay in the most expensive hotels, all at the expense of religious centers of that country. In addition, such courses also were held at the headquarters of the terrorist extremist organization of the former IRP in Dushanbe. Several propagandists from Tajikistan came to teach. In these classes, former IRP leaders sit in the front row, shaking their heads in approval signs when chanting letters from non-Sunni clerics. I don't know how stupid it is to stand outside criticizing and saying bad things. When I've been in Turkey, they said me that don't go to Tajikistan, they will jail you. I thought that being prison in Tajikistan is better than freedom in foreign. I come to this decision, I should give up listening to opinions of foreigners, creating disagreement against the state and the people. Another undisputable evidence of the TEO, former IRP's joining religious policy in its membership in the International Islamic Awakening. In 2013, Kabiri was selected deputy leader of the movement. It should be noted that this organization is a religious and politically extremist movement which promotes other religious and political forces. The course of events shows the taking advantage of this opportunity. Kabiri, with the financial and ideological support of the interests of the region plan to change the state regime. He sometimes stood by the representatives of his masters and sometimes the spiritual elders of the Ikhbanul Muslimin, Yusuf Karzavi and Muhammad Morsi. The goal of seizing power by force took root in the minds of Kabiri and his foreign masters very early on. All the appropriate time was needed to get all the, the expense of funds allocated by foreign masters for the TEO, TEO, the former IRP, and terrorist acts in 2015. He owned following wealth in Dushanbe and other cities and districts of the country. Five construction companies, two illegally constructed plots of land, medical center and consumer services center, illegally privatized buildings of the Republican Infectious Diseases Hospital in Rudaki, four limited liability companies market in the city of Tursunzoda, 44 apartments in high-rise buildings, three house plot in Dushanbe Center, 12 cars and trucks of various brands, 48 heads of cattle, 12 horses. CJSC Binokor Service, OJSC, OJSC, Borkash of Rudaki District, the building of trading and consumer center services in Shohmansur District, Dushanbe, the home farm is Tiklol, on 616 hectares and OJSC Somonion 3 in Faisalabad district. Now that this traitor of the nation has received refugee status in Europe and lived there with his relatives, the question arises as to what is the source of his income and business wealth. The answer is obvious. Most of his income comes from the same masters who made and raised him. At the same time, his allies are currently engaged in hostile activities at the expense of foreign masters. The PM got 35 billion that was well known in the district and outside of it. You bought the two-story building and turned it into a thorny place. 
there was an asphalt plant. If the same factory had been working for 23 years, the residents of the district would have a place to work and the road would have been paved. Pinocor service company was established by one of the most Muslim countries known to Tajiks under the leadership of this country's special services, whose main purpose was to wash, legitimating, legitimating the money laundering from the former Islamic Renaissance Party's terrorist extremist organization. Who made a mistake can be forgiven but who betrayed will not be forgiven. Kabiri always tries to show his patriotism, but only in words. In practice, he pretends himself a spiritual wise man and considers his religious devotion for his personal interests. After reaching the leadership of the former IRP, the first things he planned to remove the leaders of the party's former activists and get access to the party's finances and the transfer to Tajikistan, he turned the party's activities into a family affair. Kabiri and his relatives have been outside Tajikistan at the time of the country's civil war. His relatives were not harmed. He was having fun abroad with the money of his family. The traitor of the nation is not ashamed. Today he raises his voice and shows himself in quotes as the protector of the nation and the people. Let him collect his members' signature. There are a maximum 10 to 20 members, maybe 10 people. Kabiri left Tajikistan five years ago since he didn't say anyone that he has markets, shops and expensive cars, and all his children have a lifestyle. Thanks, Tajiks have a good life today. They are all Kabiri's relatives have documents. Anyone doesn't have documents, the events between each other don't have good relations. There came a group of tourists from Malaysia for a corrupt reading cycle. I went with a Chechenian woman, she says that only Kabiri's family members have documents there. Kabiri's family members haven't good relations. <laughs> The revelation of his property proved that he was just playing with the slogans about social justice and support for the poor. He founded the Sahwat Market in Tursunzoda, which used to be a children's playground. In other words, the former had the former head of the IRP has deprived hundreds of teenagers from physically developing. During the investigation of the criminal case on illegal privatization, it was found that in 1999 he bought an unfinished construction of a 500-bed infectious disease hospital with 10 hectares of land in Nawabot village of Sarikishti Jamad of Rudaki district with a small money and through fictitious gift agreements used as a second hand as a household plot sold at a high price to others, all except the main owner, Kabiri. According to the privatization agreement, 50% of which had already been completed, Kabri was obliged to, com obliged to complete the hospital and commissioned in Dushanbe. Weren't you the one who bought an expensive hospital in Rudaki district and sold it at a high price to the many and spent it for your own benefit? Today you are bragging that the people in the state of Tajikistan are not able to prevent the virus. Today's building existed, was built in hundreds of Tajiks getting treated there. Only Kabri has earned one and a half million US dollars over the past five years 
from the Sakhwat market in Tursunzoda, but fear and greed had impaned his morals that when his elderly mother Sochak was heavily ill in bed and thirsty wanted to see her son at the last moment of his life, Kabiri headed to Moscow to attend a conference, Karnag Center to receive one two hundred dollars. The conference had not yet begun that he was informed his mother's death, but he did not return to attend the funeral. See, when your mother was dead, you consider better $200 than attending the funeral of all the women Suchak. You also haven't been in your father's funeral. Will there be more impudent like? What kinds of children are you? You didn't attend even in your old mother's funeral day. Rather, he made a new discovery for his party, reading his funeral mother by phone. Rather, he made a new discovery for his party, reading his funeral mother by phone. If a person does not does not respect and believe in expectation from such people to weep at the morn of the neighbor and compatriots, then what is expectation from such a person? Even the highest since sanctity of human life, mother, is of no value to him. For such persons, the homeland and the nation can only be goods for sale. Was it not possible for this traitor to come to his hometown to attend his mother's funeral, even though there were dozens of flights between Moscow and Tajikistan that day and night? Kabiri. Kabiri, you are chicken-hearted, criticizing on internet a person who read his mother's funeral the message is a man cursed in this world in the next. We will entirely speak out against your crimes and betrayals today. Aren't you the one who knew your crimes and betrayal better than your father and mother and didn't even take part in a funeral of the deceased old woman, Sochak? But she did not wait for her to raise son. People of the village didn't want to hurt you and name you anymore. During his tenure as a member of parliament of regularly traveled to Islamic, he regularly traveled to Islamic countries to attend conferences and gatherings, met with prominent officials and received instructions from them. According to media reports, Kabri traveled abroad 34 times in 2013 and spent 139 days out of the country. The average cost of a plane ticket, including meals, accommodation, visas and other expenses, is no more than $31,000. In 2014, he traveled abroad 27 times and stayed out Tajikistan for 112 days and nights. The question is how much money did Kabri spend on these trips from his pocket? Of course, a millionaire who didn't spend a few dollars to attend his mother's funeral will never pay for such a trip. So who is his financier? Definitely the special services known to people of Tajikistan. In return, Kabri did a work which was not difficult for him, only selling the nation and state. For this traitor, the concept of homeland nation and language has no value. <laughs> Some leaders of the Islamic Renaissance Party speak in the name of Islam and word against Islam. Islam has no party. I mean, I respect those whose words come to his heart. When you don't value national values, when you don't recognize the achievements of the state, when you divide Muslims in your government, you think it is generous? Mr. Kabiri, you see, what did the government do for us? Ask yourself, what have you done for the state? Wait, wait. Did you build a factory? Did you build an orphanage? 
Did you build any university? Or put your life in danger going to Afghanistan? Don't mislead the Tajik youth that history never forgives you. Who made a mistake can be forgiven, but who betrayed will not be forgiven. His betrayal has been published dozens of times in Tajik newspapers and magazines using photos and documents related to his articles. Moreover, Kabri has been recognized as a transgressor. His lust and sensuality stories with the most shameful and prostitute ladies whose names and photos are known on the Internet with Kabri's self-acknowledgement have reached the public. During Kabri's tenure as the chairman of the former IRP, 45 members of the terrorist party committed serious and spatially serious crimes before September 2015. In 2010, Husnidin Davlatov, the former head of the branch of the Islamic Renaissance Party in Rush district, as part of his brother's terrorist group, Father Davlatov Alauddin, nicknamed Ali Bedaki, and a member of the Ansarullah community, terrorist organization Rahman Abdullah, nicknamed Mullah Abdullah, brutally killed 25 servants of the Defense Ministry. In July 2012, the heads of the regional and city branches of TEO, the former IRP, Muhammad Rizoyev Sabzali and Karam Khudoyev Sherik, took part in mass riots in Horukh and demonstrated arms against government officials. Members of the TEO, former IRP in the city of Isfahan, the Sharipovs, Mukaram Khuja and Musayam Khuja directly backed the activist members of the Turkestan Islamic Party terrorist organization in the killing of law enforcement officers and other serious crimes. On August 11, 2015, former members of the IRP Said of De, Fozil of De, Abdullah J and Khoja Murad of Te hoisted the flag of the Islamic State terrorist organization in the city of Norak. It can be continued such examples indefinitely. However, all the betrayals were small that attended by a favor part members after these crimes were committed in 2015 elections under the pretext of something of foreign trip, Udin Kabri traveled abroad and did not return to Tajikistan. First he betrayed his allies, they were abandoned and their treachery was revealed to the nation and the state. In September 2015, he invited me to Warsaw to attend in a conference where Kabiri took part also. He was promising to the members that we, with the support of the international organization, will go back to Tajikistan to take part in 2020 election. Kabiri also said if the government of Tajikistan does not allow us, we would ask for help from our international partners. Hey, Kabiri, I want to ask you one thing. When you meet us as your partner, we have been detected and your coward son fled. Did you and your son send us a dollar during these five years? You didn't and I don't need it. Today I'm feeding my children in my independent country, Tajikistan. In September 2015, his party mate Nazar Zoda Abdul Halim, nicknamed Hoji Alim, attempt to overthrow the government according to a gu guideline drawn up by him and finance of his foreign masters known. There was attended by 20 criminal groups consisting of 15 to 30 misled young people. In order to carry out this coup, on September 2, 2015, the son of Kabiri, Tilo Zoda Ruhulo Muhyiddin, on the instruction of his father, gave to Nazar Zoda AM 1,200,000 USA dollars. I am one of the witnesses of Hoji Alim's crimes. It is unforgivable betrayal. In September 2, 2015, with Saifu Hikmatullah Rahmullah and Rahmatullah Muhammad Ali were gathered in office and agreed to raise 1,200,000 American dollars.
There were 200,000, so many 400,000 dollars and 1 million and 180,000, so many. I want to reveal the crimes of Muhyiddin Kabiri again. On evening September 1st, 2015, Ruhullah Tilozoda, the son of Kabiri, who is my nephew, phoned me with a cipher of Hikmatullah and Nasrullah Jamshirik to gather evening in the house, past 3 Khairullah Mirzo Street, room 4. We came there evening, and Muhyiddin Kabiri called us and instructed to hand Ruhullah all money, which were collected from sold houses and etc. On September 2, 2015, we gathered at the gate of Binoko service. We collected all the money we had. In my hand was 200,000 somani, and Rahmatullah Jamshed's hands was 400,000 U.S. dollars. We collected all money. The rest of the money was in Rahmatullah's hands. After the collection, we calculated that the total amount was one million two hundred thousand dollars. Ruhullah then took out a package of money from his metal safe, which contained U.S. dollars, and the pack money he had taken from us took them away with Hikmatullah Saifov. After taking this money on September 4, we found out that the money was given to Hoji Halim. Hoji Halim received the money and used it for dirty deeds, committing crimes against the state. By Ruhullah's invitation, I went to the house. Ramatullah Muhammad Ali, Nazulloyev Jamshed and Ruhullah were also present. Ruhullah then told us that my father, namely Muhyiddin Kabiri, called and instructed to give $1.2 million to Hoji Halim. Therefore, on September 2, 2015, Ruhullah requested from us to collect all the money from Binokor Service Company and sell the company's facilities. Then Ruhullah and I drove in a Toyota Corolla with the state registration number 728801 to the house of Hoji Halim in the Khleb Zavod near Borhut. We arrived at about 11.30. Then Ruhullah got out of the car and went to Hoji Halim's house by himself. I waited inside the car. After 10 minutes, he left the house and gave the money to Hoji Halim. The most horrific and unforgivable incident was a September 2015 COP attempt, which was carried out under the leadership of Hoji Halim. However, in this case, it was led by Hoji Halim. In fact, the main leader was Muhyiddin Kabiri, who is the head of the terrorist extremist organization, former Islamic Renaissance Party, and was founded by the Islamic Republic of Iran. In 2015, when I was an active member of the Islamic Renaissance Party, I witnessed when Muhyiddin Kabiri failed in the election. Some members of the party and Hoji Halim order that until now we have not been able to overthrow the government legally and return to power, but he did not succeed. On September 6, 2015, the party terrorist group of Hoji Halim was completely annihilated in Ramat Gorge. In this operation, local residents, men and women, young and old, themselves contributed to the arrest and harmless of terrorists. Kabiri and his family should know that betrayal will not be forgiven. The traitors knew they would be defeated in this coup, but they had to stay within the framework drawn by the supporters. The former IRP was declared a terrorist and extremist organization and banned by the Supreme Court for committing this treason and gravated crime. The court concluded that in order to ensure the protection of the foundations of the constitutional order, sovereignty, territorial integrity, security of the Republic of Tajikistan, and the legitimate rights and interests of citizens, prevention of terrorist and extremist activities, national, rational, regional, religious, and degrading. The Islamic Renaissance Party of Tajikistan has been recognized as a terrorist and extremist organization and banished activities within the Republic of Tajikistan as a legal entity 
to be stopped publishing newspaper in Najat, closed at the website of the Islamic Renaissance Party of Tajikistan and banned the spreading and distribution of audio and video recordings, newspapers and leaflets of this party in Tajikistan. The Islamic Renaissance Party is a non-partisan party that is widely known today. One party was thirsty, it made mistakes, it was wrong, it was unethical. The Islamic Renaissance Party has become a party that people are aware of today. It approved itself as a party of mystic, wrong, rudeness, harmful literature to the people. Who made a mistake can be forgiven, but who betrayed will not be forgiven. Regardless of banning the TEO of the former IRP and its recognition as a terrorist extremist organization, Kabiri is currently associated with a small group of supporters, mostly relatives and some members of the terrorist organization who live with their families in European countries through the media and websites making ideological activities against the constitutional system of the Republic of Tajikistan. Kabiri, who now consider himself the leader of the Islamic Renaissance Party, turned the party into a Shia party. Most of the people who work there were Shia. When we sat and talked with the veterans of the party, including Ustad Navid, Domlo Abdullah, and Domlo Abdul Rahim, we wondered where this young Muhyiddin Kabiri, who considered himself the leader of the party, came from. This is a random person. It was really unexpected man. No one knew him at the party. Maybe a spy for some country, like we were seeing and reproaching with the, ourselves. Today I consider it my duty of faith in Islam to warn the glorious people of Tajikistan about the serious dangers of the party led by Moudi and Kabili and their evil plans and what dirty plans they have in their hearts for our people and our land. Of course, this is not a discovery to every of essence of the TEO, former IRP, and the party's deep ties to the international terrorist organizations are indisputable. But this reminder of history has been very unpleasant for today's revivalists. Because in recent years, fugitive members of the Renaissance have made every effort to hide their terrorist past and show themselves in a new, secular, democratic and liberal. In particular, the head of the TEO, former IRP, tried his best to present himself as a peace liberal person and European to be recognized in European circles and to receive more Western grants. In this way, he uses political tricks to hide the name of the former IRP and introduces himself as the chairman of an artificial, artificial organization called the National Pact of Tajikistan. Therefore, Kabiri was alarmed by the fact that Western political circles were reminded of the terrorist nature of the TEO, former IRP, and its links to ISIS and Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda. Kabiri. Kabiri, even now you go abroad and live better than others. I even and saw the conditions of the people who were with you, except for a few people around you none of whom had any good conditions to live there. Just as soon as you create this some um, environment, you scare people and they are afraid to come. They are satisfied there. Many of them even cry about what to do and how to return home. Kabri is an all who seeks to discredit the nation and the state. 
He has a dislike to the prosperity, progress and stable boosting in the economic, social, scientific, cultural and other spheres of life, achieving strategic goals including overcoming the communication isolation by building thousands of kilometers of roads, hundreds of tunnels and bridges, achieving full energy independence through the commissioning of the largest hydropower plants, especially the unique hydropower facility, Rogun hydropower plant, that the Soviet Union failed to build it, ensure food security and make Tajikistan an agricultural exporter, and the country's repeat industrialization in the result of the hard work of the government and the hard-working people of the country, which Kabiri openly denies because he is a businessman who is in who is engaged in trade of the homeland and the nation with the money of the special services of the countries known to Tajik people. You should be well aware that when I see something, I see it with all responsibilities. Those people who didn't believe it can present their own evidence that I'm lying, fine evidence. When I see that the cause of the evil war was the terrorism nurses party, let them see that we were not. There are many unrevealed proofs that we have not seen them yet. We are now only talking in general terms. If we talk privately and in detail, the curtain will be open on the many activities of the leaders of this band party. One who made a mistake can be forgiven, but one who betrayed will not be forgiven. The same horrible days and nights of the 1990s, in addition to killing innocent people and committing atrocities by the followers of number of the terrorist organization of Islam Renaissance Party of Kulob region, an economic blockade was imposed for almost eight months and the tragic consequences of these inhuman acts increased. The inhabitants of this region of the country deprived of food and as a result of growing hunger and lack of food and medicine they were forced to consume all kinds of plants and tree roots and as a result became infected with deadly infectious diseases. Due to an outbreak of the disease of liver swelling and heliotropic hepatitis in the Farho region, about more than 8,000 people were poisoned and less than 500 of them were dead for the main causes of the deaths were considered the members of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. According to doctors, the deadly heliotrope disease is hundreds of times more dangerous than the coronavirus. Despite all the difficulties of the time, the government of the Republic of Tajikistan was able to save the people from disaster, and today together we will get rid of this problem contrary to the actions of the traitors of the Tajik nation. The followers of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party still enjoys the ideological and financial support of its real masters, the special services of the Muslim country known to the people of Tajikistan. Rather, they are not going to let him and his parties go. They want Kabri and his followers to return the money spent on them. In April 1992, when the member of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party launched an armed phase of the civil war with a foreign plan, its first action was to take hostages, open prisons, 
torture and execute. The central jail of the terrorist organization of IRP were located in the bathroom of the Turkmenistan state farm of Bokhtar district in 1991-1992, years they kept hundreds of people there, torturing and killing them without trial. As a result of the anti-human actions of the revivalists, a spirit of despair prevailed in the society. The people of the country were discouraged and threatened, as it was saying by well-known Tajik poet Ashur Safar, will be an opportunity to laugh again, will be an opportunity to find again in our country. One of the most horrific scenes of this imprisonment was the inhuman actions of the so-called Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Therefore, every time the TV shows its crimes, the same bloody by the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party appears in the Vax district, where the illegal organization began 10 years ago in our country. It turns out that the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is not only an Islamic state, but also more experienced and worse in such crimes. This is not about knowledge of philosophy to come up with, but quite another. It is once again clear that the form of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is not only similar to the Islamic State, but it is more veteran and worse in such crimes. It is no longer a matter of sense and philosophy of gossip. Here we are talking about a fact and justice who has thousands of witnesses. But it shows that the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party and ISIS is a unique invention like the barrel prisons and barrel tortures of the revivalists of the 1990s. This anti-human invention of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party was such that they took iron water tanks or petrol and kerosene and imprisoned people inside them. Sometimes up to eight, ten people were thrown into the one or two ton iron barrel and the door was locked. Habib tells me that from Gorge of Hakim, from there was a rumor that my wife will definitely become the same person. I couldn't believe it. I went and saw this accident and came to Mullah Abdullah. I said to him, Mullah, you call yourself Mujahideen. Did the same. He cried to me and said that you insult our Mujahideen. Then Mullah Abdullah gave me an injection. I fainted for 15 days, torturing me. The woman took my hand, then took me inside in big barrel PMK Leron, and they threw stones at me from outside. Then they opened fire with a matching gun powered by powder on my head because I said that my wife was raped by Mujahideen. That is why you have slandered our Mujahideen. Then he came to my mother's house, myself in the mosque. He said, where are you? He shouted at my mother-in-law to shoot him. My mother-in-law sighed and said the same bad to her. Today in Afghanistan, the terrorist group of Ansarullah has recruited terrorists from Tajikistan, which is in fact a military branch of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Joined the peace process, it retained part of its military forces in Afghanistan and appointed Amridin Tabarov, nicknamed Molo Amridin, as their leader. Mullah Amridin's group later renamed Ansarullah, who has long been involved in terrorist activities. In recent years, the terrorists have joined the ranks of SS groups in Afghanistan. Rooted of the terrorist organization of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party with the terrorist group of Ansarullah. In 2009-2010, members of the Ansarullah Revival Group made some efforts to establish bases in the Rasht Valley but were severely displayed, repressed by government forces and local residents. Thus, Ansarullah is part of the former of the, ter of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, fully armed and experienced military and its close cooperation with Al-Qaeda, the Ikhwan al-Muslimin, Muslim Brotherhood, and SS is further evidence cooperation with the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is an international terrorist movement. The relationship of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party with the international terrorist organization Islamic State is a great story because this rival has two connections with SS, spiritual and ideological connection and 
structural and military ties if we compare the work of the former of terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party with the horrific activities of ISIS in Iraq and Syria, we see hundreds of similarities in the views and practices of these two organizations. If in recent years the whole world has been shocked by the atrocities of the extremists and terrorist group, the crimes of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party are no less. In fact, the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is the same ISIS is the same of Islamic Renaissance Party. In 1992-2000, the Maniars implemented their ISIS in the districts of the Rasht Valley, imposed their own brutal regime, and in some respects, we even more terrible than ISIS, the criminal attitude of the former IRP to the civilian population, scientists, artists, women and girls, the property of the people and the country's inf infrastructure was no less than that of ISIS. Indication of Mehrubon Sikhakwa, former refugee from Afghanistan. We saw a family where she was pregnant, she was in a pain and had to give birth. There is no place for him to take refuge. They were very hungry. The ground was covered with cotton wool. The same cotton was picked by people and the cotton was torn off by hand. And she did not take refuge and a shelter was built for the same woman. She was too weak to give birth easily. She gave birth to a baby with difficulties. Minutes later after giving birth, she was died. I will never forget that experience. Indication of Gulchehra Sultan of a former refugee from Afghanistan. There was a woman who, if she had three children, brought one from other side and not the other two. There was a woman who took four children and brought two of them. There were women who gave birth the mouth of the river and did not bring children to the motherland. Usman Jongafor of Doctor of Historical Sciences, Professor. I saw for a moment on the same border between the districts of Shartuz and Qobodion on the other side of Afghanistan, a newspaper journalist with his own eyes something on the river bank. Earlier he had seen by babies, the babies had drinks mother's milk. Unfortunately he drinks the milk of dead mother. Instead of drinking milk, he was drinking blood. She is sucking her mother's blood instead of her mother's milk. What could be worse than this? But the latest facts and figures show that in addition to consensus, there is close cooperation between the two organizations. For example, the foreign tourist terror commander Nasir Khuja Ubaidov, whose nickname Khori Nasir was a former member of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party and is cooperating directly with assess representatives in Afghanistan. Another member of the Islamic Renaissance Party, Hussein Abdul Samadov, a former leader of terrorist activities, again foreign tourists went to Afghanistan three times in 2014-2017 to conduct terrorist training in Afghanistan through a Muslim country known to Tajiks both in Syria and in the ISIS camp. Etching district of Afghanistan's Nangarhar province will receive terrorist training. Indication of Hussein Abdul Samad of the member of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. It was in early 2008 when Qari Nasir called me. Then I took a plane ticket to Mashhad and at the airport was met with Qari Nasir and taken me to Mawlavi Abdurrahman's house. At Mawlavi Abdurrahman's house, the next day I advised that I should go to take military lessons and I was attracted to Mawlavi Abdurrahman at the center of military sabotage training. There we spent about two months in tactical and military sabotage training. The fact that he was a member of the former TEO IRP, three times traveled to Syria and Afghanistan, and ISIS camps trained one person three times, and now lives in a well-known country. The mastermind of the operation is proof of one peril, and the members of each other are the revivalists of this operation. Indication of Hussein Abdul Samad of the member of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. On July 29th of 2018, year at approximately movement vehicles in the Dushanbe Dangara Highway, where we saw tourists traveling from Dangara to Dushanbe, and then we hit them with a Leganza car, and then we got out of the car, attacked them with a knife and an axe, and hit them. And there we killed four of them and wounded of the other two, three, and disappeared from the sands. 
prior to the operation, we were photographed under the banner of the Islamic State in order to make people think it was the work of the Islamic State. In fact, this was done in order not to expose the criminal actions of the leader of the Islamic Revival Party. Generally, in 2016-2019 years, there are dozens of specific facts and figures about the participation of revivalists in the ranks of ISIS and the transfer of revivalists to ISIS camps in Afghanistan in 2016-2019, indication of Mohidin Kabiri. A few years ago, during the first war in Gaza, we raised with brothers 32,000 U.S. dollars and we sent the money for help to one of the Turkish charity funds where there was a special department. So let us know what other terrorist organization is left with which the former of the member of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party has no connection or cooperation. Therefore, there is no doubt that the former Islamic rival party has a terrorist nature, its ties with international terrorist organizations, and is an integral part of the global terrorist network. In such cases, the efforts of the missionaries to cancel this truth are not only shameful but also naive, a fault that they may be helpful to appease themselves, but to cover up this historical fact will no longer have any effect. That is, the Islamic Revival Party is not only a terrorist extremist organization, but also an integral part of the international terrorist movement. Indication of Muhyiddin Kabiri, I consider the defense of the Muslim Brotherhood as my human duty. There is no doubt about it in 1994-1998 with the establishment of a real concentration camp in the Tavildara region, especially in the Vahyoibolo and Miona, where more than 1,000 people were enslaved for the full five years in 1995. The 12th Russian border guards were massacred. The brutal killing of UN delegation in Tavildare in 1997, the massacre of innocent defense ministry rescrits in Kamarov in 2010, a series of killings of political and cultural figures in Tajikistan and others, the killing of the country's intelligence during the civil war and after the signing of the agreement on the establishment of peace and national accord also became commonplace for the banned form of Islamic Renaissance Party. have no idea without any exaggeration and confrontation of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is unimaginable to write as cultural figures and intellectuals in general. As a result of the horrible and terrifying actions of the terrorists, the great children of the nation who presented our beloved country to the world with unparalleled hardship were brutally murdered and everyone was shocked to hear it. And that's a pity that among this ancient nation and this dear homeland there are such young men, the weak and the envious, because no lowly, ignoring, stupid person would allow such evil betrayal, hospitality and helplessness to his nation and homeland. However, extremists and terrorists have been able to commit such heinous acts and atrocities against the people of our country. Today, it is necessary and inevitable for the public to realize that more than 100 scientists, cultural figures, journalists and other world-famous personalities were killed by orders of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Evidence suggests that the assassination of prominent politicians, scientists, cultural figures and journalists were the work of terrorists. Muhammad Osimi, Min Hoj Gulomov, Yusuf Ishaqi, Saif Afardi, Moyon Shun Azar Shoyev, Karamatullo Qurbanov, Otakhon Latifi, Muhyiddin Olimpur, Khushbakht Haydar Shoh, Jumakhon Hotami, Muradullo Sheralizoda, Safar Ali Kenjaev, Sergey Yuldashev, Munir Yuldashev, Sitkovsky Sergey Nikolaevich, Nazriyev Munavarsho Nazriyevich, Sangov Saifuddin Goibovich, Viktor Nikulin and others were carried out by representatives and followers of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party on the instructions of the country's special services known to the Tajik people. Here are the following list of scientists, intellectuals, government and public servants and cultural figures who became victims of the inquisition of the Renaissance. Minhoj Gulomov. 
corresponding member of the USSI Academy of Sciences, Honor Doctor of the Tajik SSR, Deputy Rector of the Tajik State Medical University, named after Abu Ali ibn Sino, was killed on May 6, 1996, on the orders of one of the leaders of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, Rahman Sanginov, nicknamed Rahman Gitler, by a group of armed revivalists led by Pirakov Dilovar Shohovic. Academic Muhammad John Osimi, well-known scientist, the chairman of the executive committee, the Association of Tajiks and Persians of the World Paivand, president of the Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Tajikistan, on July 27, 1996, was brutally killed by one of the leaders of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, subgroup Nuraliyev El Murad Hojevich, and members of his group, Saidov Amrolo Rahmatloyevich, in the corridor of the secondary school number seven in the Dushanbe, Ishoki Yusuf Bashir Khonovich, a political and public figure, renowned surgeon, rector of Tajik State Medical University named after Abolid Nisino, was killed on May 6, 1996, on the orders of one of the leaders of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, Rahman Sanginov, nicknamed Rahman Gitler, with the group of armed revivalists, the leadership Pirakov Dilovar Shohovich, Yusuf Ishoki, who was one of the most famous scientists in the field of modern Tajik medicine and a genius of the time who was brutally murdered at the hands of criminals. Saif Rahim Zodia Fardi, Rahim of Saif Abduyevich, chairman of the Committee on Television and Radio Broadcasting under the government of the Republic of Tajikistan on the day on May 20, 2000, was shot down by the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, Rahim Kalandarov, at the gates of his place residence. Moyon Shonazar the deputy prime minister of the Republic, was brutally murdered on March 10, 1994, outside his home. His assassination occurred due to the fact that he was supposed to lead during the first round of peace talks in Moscow in April 1994. This deal was of the enemies of the Tajik nation, the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, in order to disrupt the peace process. Karamatlu Qurbon of Honored Artist of Tajikistan, beloved singer, was killed on October 18, 1992, on the way from Yovon district to Dushanbe by a group of Renaissance militants. Otakhon Latifi, a well-known journalist and chairman of the Subcommission Legal Affairs of the Commission on National Reconciliation, was killed on September 22, 1998, in downtown of Dushanbe City on the order of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. He was a former deputy chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Republic of Tajikistan, correspondent of the newspaper Pravda and Deputy Prime Minister of the Republic of Tajikistan. Muhyiddin Olimpur, an international journalist and the head of the BBC Persian radio broadcasting in Tajikistan on 12th of December 1995 by the ordering of Nozim Yunusov by members of his team Tohirov Ahtam Kabirovich, Hamidov Murtazo Muhammadievich, Sharifov Nasrullo Narzuloyevich and Davlatov Nazribek Beg Nazarovich, members of the revival as a mercenary, took Muhyiddin Olimpur from the station, killed him near the central stadium Dushanbe, and dumped his body on the banks of the Dushanbe River. Khushbakht Haydar Shah, executive secretary of the newspaper Tajikistani Saveti, was killed on May 19, 1994, near his home in Dushanbe, by members of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Jumakhon Hotami, head of the press center of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the Republic of Tajikistan, was killed on June 5, 1999 in Dushanbe City by an armed group of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Murodullo Sheralizoda, editor-in-chief of Sadoi Mardum, laureate of the Youth Union of Tajikistan, was killed on May 5, 1992 in the courtyard of the Supreme Council building on the order of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. One of the first victims of the imposed civil war was the revival. Safar Ali a former chairman of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Tajikistan, was killed on March 13, 1999 in Dushanbe City by armed members of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party, Abdullayev Abduqadir Gurezovich, Ashraf of Taghoi Murad Sirojovich, Kuzov Mirzo Rahim Karimovich, Pirakov Dilovar Shohovich, on the orders of Nazarzoda Abdualim.
Karim Yuldashev, state advisor to the president of Tajikistan on foreign policy, was killed on July 7, 2001, outside his home by members of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Huwait Loif Nurullah Umarovic, the general prosecutor of Tajikistan, was brutally murdered on August 24, 1992, on his way to walk by militants of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. During the examination, more than 20 bullets were found in the body of the deceased Nurullah Huwait Loif. Sitkovsky Sergei Nikolaevich, head of the press center of the Customs Service under the government of the Republic of Tajikistan on October 5, 1999 in Nemat Karaboyev Street of Dushanbe City, members of the terrorist organizations of Islamic Renaissance Party deliberately hit and killed him with a car. Viktor Nikulin, the correspondent of the Russian public television ORT in Tajikistan, was killed on March 28, 1996 by a group of revivalists, leader by Yunusov Nozim Yusupovich and members of his group Tohirov AK, Hamidov MM, Davlatov NB and Shoyev HT will be executed in the 82nd district of Dushanbe city. Nazriev Munavarsho Nazrievich was born in 1939, native of Bedaki village, society village of Navdi, Rush district, former deputy prime minister of the Republic of Tajikistan. On October 1994, on the way from Dushanbe to Rush district, was brutally killed by the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Sang of Saifuddin Goibovich was born in 1948, native of Muminovo district in Khatlon region, former deputy chairman of Kulob region, who came to Dushanbe to bring wheat and flour to the Bayezid people on September 1992, was brutally killed by bloodthirsty revolutionaries. On July 20, 1998, the United Nations representatives in Tajikistan, Akino Yutaka, Japanese citizen and translator, Marham of Jurakhon, Tajik citizen, were brutally killed in the Nurobot district of Tajikistan by members of the former of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. The assassination of Dr. Taston Nakamu in Jalalabad, Afghanistan, is similar to the tragic assassination of Yutaka Akino, a Japanese professor who arrived in Tajikistan as a United Nations and who to serve the war-torn people of the Rasht Valley. Both Nakamura and Yutaka Akino had come to serve in conflict zones during the civil war, but one was killed by a rebel terrorist in Nurobo district of Tajikistan and the other by an Afghan terrorist in Nangarhar of Afghanistan. In order to do so, they began to kill intellectuals in order to change popular opinion and impose foreign customs and traditions on the Tajik nation. These similar killings unequivocally indicate that the terrorists collaborated with al-Qaeda terrorists and were involved in such activities. The list could go on and on, but it was enough. The list of innocent people killed by a group of non-believers show that the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party was killed on the faces of the world of culture and enlightenment, scientists, poets, journalists, intellectuals, secular ideologies, self-professed and patriots, and in the hope of varying promises to spread civilized and civilized Tajik nation not only from religion but also from its rich history and culture. On this massacres and uprooting of the country's intelligence, TI special statement and prominent journalists by extremist revivalists, once again damaging journalists' servants of the revivalists Timur Varki, Mirzoy Salimpur, Salimi Ayubzot, Sayyid Yunusi, Staravshani, does not make them wonder what logically their lives will be like when they again end up using their intellectual potential. In this case, it is worth recalling the Georgian problem Proverb, a sheep has always been afraid of wolves shepherd at them. Thoughts and conclusions from you, truth-thinking intellectuals. One who made a mistake can be forgiven, but one who betrayed will not be forgiven. All this shows once again that there is no difference between the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party and the fascists in the issue of cruelty and murder. To the same mode of operation, the main goal of SS and the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is the same, to seize power and establish a medieval Islamic state. 
It should be noted that the Islamic State of the former of Islamic Renaissance Party also widely used other signs of ISIS, including the establishment of so-called Islamic courts or lynch law and the condemnation of innocent people for blasphemy and heresy. In this regard, ISIS advantage over the former Islamic Renaissance Party ISIS has openly declared that is creating an Islamic caliphate and imposing such ignorant medieval laws. However, the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party is operating fraudulently. In official documents, it calls itself a supporter of a democratic state, but in secret meetings and in reports to foreign farmers whose records are available, it says its real goal is to establish an Islamic state. The terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party are only for their own benefit and to satisfy the investors who have invested in them from abroad. When each individual meets with them, when he realizes that they have already represented the state against religion, it proves that this is one of the same terrorist extremist organizations. The activity is to destabilize one or another state of our planet. This is a way to deceive a few lost young people from the extremist group of 2405 so-called former revivalist intellectuals who founded a group in Europe who want to show that they are terrorists resurrection in life this is the only way to keep them temporarily abroad and give its investors hope to continue provocations and intrigues at home and abroad the hope of death from birth the time has passed to rebuild the country and the scenario that you are pressing today with the same fabricated task is like the head of the office of the islamic renaissance party Everyone knows that the Islamic Renaissance Party was like. He already owns an, an office in Poland where today he turns 40, taking his side for peace. Today you are behind the terrorists and extremists who today want to turn our beloved Tajikistan into a state of Syria and Iraq. Dear compatriots, the same scenario as in the 90s, the same organizers of the civil war counts down as soon as they took office. They too are the head of the press office of the Islamic Renaissance Party, which does not exist today. Refugee leader, chairman of an organization, it's funny that they want to get for a job. They sold their homeland today, they sold their parents, they sold their relatives and their consents. When Muhyiddin Kabir's father, Tilo Kabirov, was alive, his son's betrayals became public and the old and the young knew about his ugly deeds. Surely Kabir's father was aware of his son's betrayal. He was well aware that he had sold his homeland for money, goods, wealth and the most valuable thing. However, he did not utter a word or give any advice. He did not tell his unfaithful son that treason was an ugly thing to do. Didn't explain, my child, that the nation will not forget the betrayal. Where is that Tajik Taras Bulba for the sake of his homeland and nation will cross the Tajik homeland, Kabiri? Betrayal is an unforgettable act. The punishment of the person who commits this act is only death, the great Russian writer Platonov rightly noted. The reasons for betrayal and treachery can be different. However, the main factor of betrayal of the state and the nation is greed, greed for money, wealth and enjoyment of life. The desire for a better life leads to betrayal. Throughout the stage of national history, betrayal and treachery have been described as the most horrible and dangerous social phenomena, making social tissues vulnerable at all times and gradually strengthening the process of domination of foreign ideology and culture. The betrayal of the heroes of nation history, Spitamen Mukanna, Bobak Khuramdin, Abu Muslim Khurosoni, Timur Maliki Khujandi, Mahmoud Torobi, Mavlonzoda Sarbador, Vose and others was mostly committed by own people. The roots of oppression and tyranny depend the violence, deepened the violence in the region and ensured the unconditional domination of foreign agents. One who made a mistake can be forgiven, but one who betrayed will not be forgiven.
trial, patriotism and murder of his father were not uncommon, and his son, Muhammad Tilozoda, mourned the death of another Tajik family in a foreign car bought by his father with illicit money. May 3, 2012, Ortiq Zoda, Muhsidin, a resident of the village Andigon in Bahda town, had a birthday. He was 12 years old. He invited some of his classmates to his home and his mother set the table. At the moment, he called Muhsidin and asked him to go to the nearest shop and buy some less sweets. Muhsidin left and did not return for several hours. The poor mother walked in and out in amazement. The villagers and neighbors hurried past their homes, trying not to get along so as not to show any signs of trouble. His classmates didn't come either. Two hours later, Muhsidin's lifeless body was brought into the house by neighbors. The screams of the poor mother filled the air. She woke up and cried for a minute. The man of my family is gone. My back is gone. She still feels guilty and blames why she sent his liver to the store that day. The day when Muslihidin was happily returned from the store, a Toyota Camry registration number 3926AM01RT was traveling through the village at the speed of 110-120 km per hour. It turned out that his new car was bought the driver was young. Several villagers walking along the road barely managed to pull themselves together. Only Muhsidin could not. He was walking towards the house and the car was moving hard behind him. The impact of the car was so severe that the poor teenager lost his limbs. The driver of the criminal was Muhammad Tilozoda, the son of the former chairman of the Islamic Renaissance Party, Kabiri. He was 19 years old when his father bought him a foreign car, the new Toyota Camry, for $20,000. Look at the injustice of life when a father buys such an expensive car for a child who does not yet have a driver's license with foreign money and a 12-year-old boy who is burdened with household chores dies for a piece of bread killed by the son of this traitor. A teenager was put to death by thousands of parents. He had never seen anything in the world and maybe when he grew up he would become a noble man who would be proud of his parents, his homeland. That night and day Muhyiddin Kabiri showed his fatherly love for the son of a criminal the love of his parents, which had been tormented by grief and burning hearts for a lifetime, was unseen. He went to the child's parents and, using severe words and fabricated hadiths about destiny, fate, destiny and the line of the forehead, and the like persuaded them not to sue. In return, he promised them lifelong support, but this is also an empty promise. In the case of the car accident, another criminal, Buzurgmer Yorov, a lawyer who is currently serving a prison sentence for defrauding dozens of his clients, as well as involvement in other criminal activities, was able to persuade Muhammad Tilozoda with his own business to fund Kabiri. To present Tilozoda in nonsense, in the case of Artikov M, the speed of the car was 110 and 120 km per hour, and Tilozoda himself confirms this fact in his statement, blaming the speed of 44 km per hour and the murder of the boy. In this way, Kabiri was released from criminal liability. It should be noted that this was not the last crime of Kabiri's sons. Muhammad Tilozoda, in addition to all his bad human qualities, was engaged in the purchase and sale of firearms. For example, in June 2013, he bought a Makarov pistol from Nazarov Abdukhahor Mirzoevich for 1,800 U.S. dollars. On June 2013, Muhyiddin Kabri's son, Muhammad Tilozoda, came to our house through my father-in-law and asked me to give him a Makarov pistol, and I sold it to Muhyiddin Kabri's son for $1,800. I asked Muhammad Tilozoda, what do you do with this weapon? He said, I take it for self-defense. Nazarov Abdukahor Mirzoevich was born in 1973, native and resident of Dushanbe, Sino district, now about Street House 128, one of the former followers of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party was engaged in the purchase and sale of firearms from 2013 until his arrest by the court of Sino district of Dushanbe was sentenced on April 8, 2019 to four years and six months in prison. 
Some illiterate, native and quick-witted young people in Tajikistan have been deceived by the ignorant and dangerous ideas of extremist forces have resorted to undesirable and horrible acts with religious motives and have supported and followed terrorist and extremist groups. In February 2018, two terrorists who came to Tajikistan from Afghanistan to carry out terrorist acts were detained. Gulu Fakhridin, nicknamed Anas, born in 1993, native of Rudaki district, resident of Dushanbe City, 25th of May 2018, under Articles 307, 3, 401, 1, 335, Part 1, 32, Part 3, 179, Part 2 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan by the city of Dushanbe court sentence imprisonment him to 23 years. He was killed by his accomplices during the riots in Vahda town on May 2019. In 2016, I went to the Russian city of Chelyabinsk through Zal Radio under the direction of Abu Bakr al-Muwahid. I was recruited to fight in Afghanistan. In 2016, I traveled from Chelyabinsk to Moscow, Moscow to Baku, from Baku to Mashhad under the direct direction of Abu Bakr Muwahid. We got a visa and went from Mashhad to Kabul. When I arrived at the, arrived at the Islamic State Terrorism Center, I noticed that there were only 500 people. The leader is Habab, showed them how to disassemble and clean four Kalashnikov firearms. The matching gun also showed up, shoot the grenade too. He also showed how to throw a grenade in 15 days. When I met Abu Bakr al-Muwahid on Radio Zello, I did not know that he was a member and propagandist of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. Rebirth of Abu Bakr al-Muwahid from Habab. When I was in Afghanistan, I noticed that there were no houses there. There were cracks and burns everywhere. The people were not at ease, Try not to be fooled by any group. The homeland is calm and peaceful. There were many schools. There are dozens of universities and colleges. No one told us at the time to read. That is why we have been deceived by extremist groups because of our illiteracy. You can use this opportunity to study and learn science. Neither Kabiri, nor Habob, nor Abu Bakr Muwahid, nor any other of the terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party can deceive you. If you have knowledge and understanding, no one can deceive you to go somewhere and kill someone. This is all a lie. Don't believe it. Kabiri and other terrorist leaders live peacefully in other countries with their wives and children and push us to war. Personally, I did not understand all this at the time. Azamov Mahmoud John, nicknamed Ali and Umed, born in 1993, native and resident of Kushonion district of Khatlon region, 25th of May 2018, under Article 307, Part 3, to 401 part 1 335 part 1 332 part 3 179 part 2 of the criminal court of the republic of tajikistan was sentenced by the dushanbe city court to 25 years of imprisonment in november 2015 we joined the zalo network where abu Muhajir and Muavia, one of the activists of the terrorist organization Islamic Renaissance Party, called for religion, jihad, and the Islamic State, and we joined them. On January 26, 2016, we flew on the Kazan Moscow, Moscow, Dubai, Dubai, Mashhad flights, and I flew the Kabul, Afghanistan flight. My illiteracy made me be deceived by terrorists. What did I miss? In Magnitogorsk, I worked at a construction site and received a good salary. But I believed that the promises of the members of the Islamic Renaissance Party of Jalaluddin and Habab and promised loyalty to this party. They deceived me in terms of helping me and give me knowledge. I believed them and joined them, but soon I found myself on the basis of the Ansarullah terrorist group from the Islamic Renaissance Party. Instead of fulfilling the promise, they trained the use of various weapons, including PCs, AKs, grenade launchers, grenades, and carved handguns prepared and used explosives and mobilized to explode objects and kill people. The goal of the terrorist group is to kill and destroy people and do not believe the words of the leaders of the terrorist extremist organization Islamic Renaissance Party so as not to fall into the trap of deception like us.
by order of Habbab along with Ali, whose present name is Azam of Mahmoud John. Together we came to the 201st Division with a preliminary plan for a terror suppression in the Mahala of Giprazem. At the band, I dropped off Ali and I stayed in the car and waited for him. Then Ali came down and completely surrounded the 201st Division. By ordering of Habab together with Gulu Fakhridin, we will carry out terrorist actions. When Fakhridin stopped the car near the sink, I got down and personally checked around starting from the wall to the back gate and from here they passed between the houses and almost reached the other gate. The main purpose of the terrorist operation under the 205th Russian Division was to instill fear in the minds of the people and there is a feeling of distrust in the peace and security of the Republic. The main purpose of the terrorist operation near the 205th Russian Division was to instill fear in the minds of people and there is a feeling of distrust in the peace and security of the Republic. The changes, horrors and bloodshed that occurred in our country in the early 90s of the last century at the hands of traitors to the motherland and the will of individuals and states Certain people, our compatriots, and you call the people to write as if they were bringing freedom to the people and building a bright future. But from the horrors, tens of thousands died, great damage was inflicted on the state, and most importantly, the threatened of destruction of the nation and the state was imminent. So how did all this happen, and how were those who sold their homeland and stained it with blood? One of them, who seemed to be remorseful, tell us a little bit about the plot and the horror in his own words. Said Qiyomidin Ghazi, known by the nicknames Eshon Qiyomidin, Boboy Eshon, General of the People, born in 1952 in Gisar, the leader of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party in 2018 by the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan, for 18 years was imprisoned and killed by his accomplices in May 2019 riots at a penitentiary in Vahdat town. In 2006, the plan which we had said before was very successful and the plan for 2006 began to be implemented in the hope that the high point in the Tajik parliament in 2015 would be the full power. They tried to kill me, they took money, they tried, they tried, they tried. I have witnessed people from this district preaching to him, but fortunately he did not win in the parliament. These events are not a secret that people should know. I am one of those who know. I know that they have done everything. Hear from us what they have done. Kabiri knows these things. Boasting in vain is breaking the neck. Another person who was the main founder of religious extremist party in the foreground and throughout his extents in the process of developing the base planes and goals of this organization and its foreign leaders is telling the truth that the people of Tajikistan know that their former Islam Renaissance party and what kind of extremist organization, what betrayal was committed by Had Kabiri who betrayed the Tajik state and nation and what troubles is he trying to inflict on the Tajik people with the financial support of his foreign masters. Sator of Ayomidin, nickname Mavlavi Ayomidin, date of birth 25th of April 1953, native of Kamintern village of Kushonyon district, former Bokhtar district of Khatlon region, Tajik by nationality, married, has five children, resident of Rudaki district, society village of Chimtepa, Obchakoron village, who was one of the founders and organizers of the former terrorist organization of Islamic Renaissance Party. The same can be said about financial aid with all the responsibility that was in all the periods of the IRP's TTP, which at that time was led by Said Abdullah Nuri. Later, after his death, Muhyiddin Kabiri took over the leadership. I remember when the civil war broke out and the people emigrated to Afghanistan, Islamic Renaissance Party, the leaders themselves went there and did all the same 
and they received a lot of money in the name of migrant aid and they came to cover up their, initi- their activities and set up a town called Amrabad in Afghanistan's Takhar province. Several groups of migrants were cared for there, but it was clear that the money that came in and 70s, 80s percent of it fell into the hands of IRP leaders who used it for their own selfish purposes. They gave it to the militants and used it to destabilize the, the republic. On June 26, 2008, Rajab of Khurshed Ahramovich was arrested on suspicion of committing a terrorist act. According to his testimony, Rajab of Khurshed in 1993-1994 met with three members of the former IRP TTO named Abdullah, Alisher and Shamal, residents of Dushanbe. According to him, Alisher, who was one of the close associates of Hoji Halim, was in charge of organizing and carrying out the assassination attempt on the soldiers of the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Tajikistan. Rajab of Khurshid said he had been involved in the crime under pressure and threats from Alisher. Alisher promised him that after the terrorist act, he would be hired as a driver in the group Hoji Halim. Rajab of Khurshid Ahtamovich, born in 1970, native and resident of Firdavsi district of Dushanbe, in September 2018 was sentenced by the Dushanbe city court to 11 years in prison. In 1996, I worked at a bravery in the Chekhov district. The man whose name was Shamal came in front of me. Shamal lives in the same Chekhov street. Then he said that I would find a job with the protesters. A few days later, the car 06 arrived. Two of them came to us and told us what time the bus of the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Tajikistan would arrive and leave. I said, everyone knows this. He said, no, you tell us exactly where it comes from and which way it goes. I made a similar plan for them. I told him that the bus would turn 82 and go in the same direction, go around the front of the maternity hospital and go down to the school. They took the plan and gave me $300 and said that our commander was Hoji Halim. We are member of the Islamic Renaissance Party. The tragic events of September 2015 showed that terrorists under the guise of Islam and membership in religious parties and movements are capable of any action against the modern state. These groups are ready to serve as a vanguard force in times of the crisis for outside stakeholders. The events of September 4, 2015 are the work of Muhyiddin Kabiri and Hoji Halim. Most of the young people who took part in the September 4 incidents said most had received military training in Mozandaron, either in Karachi or in Qom. After a coup attempt by Abdul Halim Nazarzoda's criminal group in September 2015, led by Muhyiddin Kabiri and funded by the country's special services, the former IRP's fugitive leader was ordered by the service to implement a new plan proposed belt fastening. To implement corruption plans, Kabiri, an active member of the terrorist organization Islamic Renaissance Party, Salom Said Aliyev, was entrusted with recruiting young Tajiks region to the ranks of this terrorist organization and mobilizing them to terrorist base in the country. On this basis, the member of terrorist organization Islamic Renaissance Party, Kuzov Rustam Karimovich, on behalf of his brother Kuzov Mirzorahim Karimovich, nicknamed Shonaimi Karim, transferred, transferred the money to Salom Said Aliyev for the purchase of air tickets. Said Aliyev Salom Rahmonovich was born in 1978, a native of Andarbak village, society of Yazgulom in Vanj district of Gbao, living in the city of Dushanbe, Firdavsi district, a former member of the Islamic Renaissance Party by the city court of Dushanbe city from December 6, 2018, in Article 307, Part 2 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan, was sentenced to five years imprisonment. In 1997-1999, I served in the military unit 31001 of the 25th Battalion. At the time, the battalion commander was Hoji Halim. I served in this battalion in the Tavildara district as a platoon commander and mad Muslim Kuzov there. Kuzov Muslim was one of the members of the IRP's TTP and invited me to join the party Kuzov Muslim the brother of Kuzov Mirzorahim, who is currently seeking refuge abroad. 
In April 2015, I received a call from Kuzov Rustam, who is Kuzov's brother, Mirzo Rahim, saying that he had received an order for you on behalf of Safarov Sher Muhammad, nicknamed Sher Yaz Gulomi. So I said, what an assignment. I told him what the task was, that the citizens of Tajikistan should come and receive military training. In May 2015, Rustam Kuzov called me again and said that we had sent $5,000 in your name. So I went and got the $5,000 from the bank. The first citizens we sent were Kalonov Khurshed and Rozikov Salim. Again, for me, Kuzov Rustam called and said that I had received these people. The main purpose of our training was to get into Tajikistan first, to blow up cities, to blow up markets, to blow up in parks and crowded areas in the same places. Muidin Kabiri, Kuzov Mirzo Rahim, special services officers, all of them planned to do the same for us. Analyses and comparisons, concrete evidence, show that some countries, groups and organizations associated with them are not going to give up their hostile political plans against Tajikistan. On the one hand, they speak beautiful words about friendship and mutual understanding, mutually beneficial relations, signed documents, but at the same time using the leaders and members of the former of the terrorist organization, Islamic Renaissance Party, undermine specific plans to disrupt the peaceful atmosphere of our country. In June 2019, four members of former Islamic Renaissance Party terrorist organization were detained while crossing the state border from the Islamic State of Afghanistan to the Republic of Tajikistan. During interrogations, the detainees stated in their testimonies on how they had joined the former Islamic Renaissance Party and the financing of this terrorist organization by stakeholders. Kuzov Muslim Karimovich, nicknamed Mahdi, born in 1975, native of Andarbaki village, Yazgulom village, Vanj district, Kbao, 17th of January 2020, under articles 307, part 3, to 32, part 3, 305, part 1, the criminal code of the Republic of Tajikistan sentenced him to 18 years in prison by the military chamber of the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan. The forecast war for March 2019, we were taken to home to meet with Muhyiddin Kabiri. It is 18... It is 80-90 kilometers from Iraq to Qom and 120-130 kilometers from Tehran to Qom. We were taken away, but Muhyiddin had not come yet. We waited for Kabiri to arrive with six people. One was Tojidin and few of Hoji Halim. The other was Shahob. A third was Nemat Badakhshoni, the head of the IRP's Tehran office. The fourth is Khalid and Shonaimi Karim himself. I started the conversation at the head of our group over the guys first. I said that a person has a reputation. Our dignity has been violated in this country. I don't know why they treat us like this. Only these 14 of us are fighting and other people are fighting. The boys also started complaining that we had packed our bags and wherever you go, we will go too. That is take us out. Our conversation lasted three hours. Between these three hours and two point half hours, everyone talked. All the guys talked. Heritage, let's go. We still not stop because those who came in their 20s and turned 23 here, he was 19 and 22 years old. We lived in Wen for three years. After another half hour of conversation, Kabiri said, give me a month and in a month I will expel you from the country. Terrorist groups such as the Sharia's Gulomi, terrorist group of 10 and other traitors who are heading to Tajikistan under the direction of country known to our people will be arrested or killed. It was February 2017 and we returned to our place of residence in Perdith, the same yard as we were. From there, special service program was sent to Afghanistan. First two people left, the Sharia's Gulomi and three others left. Line then left with three others. About nine people gathered there. One and a half to two months later in April, Sher was beaten in Afghanistan, in the northern province of Kunduz. Of those nine, only one survived. We called him Khori. He called and sent us their photos.
Zabichoy Navroz Mahmoud Shoevich, nicknamed Jafar, born in 1996, native the city of Dushanbe, Shomansur District, Nazar Shoev Street, House 322, in 17th of January 2020, under Article 307, Part 3, Part 2, 32, Part 3, and 305, Part 1 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan, was sentenced by the Military Chamber of the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan, sentenced 19 years in prison. Muhyiddin Kabiri said, what do you want from me to invite me here from Europe? Kuzov Muslim said, you are jihad or not? Muhyiddin Kabiri said that he was going to fight. Kuzov Muslim said that you do not want to fight. Gathering the whole generation from Tajikistan, you took us to Europe, wanted us from everywhere and brought us here in the name of jihad. And we spent three years and you took all the people and killed them and all the others were captured behind you and Shonaim. He told Muhyiddin Kabiri and again told him to send all the children who are here and gathered here wherever they want. Muhyiddin Kabiri said that he could not send them anywhere, but now it is difficult for me to do so. Rizvonov Ahmad Zohir Rizvonovich Nicknamed Amor, was born in 1981, native of Mirza Obod village of Abdurrahmani Jomi district in Khatlon region, participant of the attempt to cube on September 4, 2015 in the terrorist group Jihalim Nazarzada, 17th of January 2020, under Article 179, Part 3, 187, Part 2, 199, Part 4, 130, Part 3, 306, Part 1, 313, 195 part 3 307 part 3 part 2 and 32 part 3 of the criminal code of the republic of tajikistan by the decision of the collegium court the supreme court of the republic of tajikistan has sentenced to imprisonment for 27 years Kabiri was brought in by two security officers. One stayed in the basement where we were staying and the other stood outside. Then we took turns complaining. First cause of Muslim complain about how your life is Europe is going and the magnificent places and places of Europe you can enjoy expensive cars and palaces and not think of the people. You fight with your children first, then we fight after you. In response, Muhyiddin Kabiri said that I can only take you to Africa. The guys replied that we are not going to Africa. We have been here for so many years. That's enough for us. You take us straight to Europe. Muhyiddin Kabiri said, give me time to find a way to get you out of here. Someone came to us, greeted us, and then said, how are you, Mujahideen of the Islamic revival? And that said, the path you have chosen is the right path. The building of the Islamic State in Tajikistan is worthy of God. And then he told us that God willing, God will reward you. When this went and we went to the kitchen for lunch, their cook named Ahmadi Qurbani told me that the person you greeted was a high security official. Ismailov Dilshaw Davlat Bekovich, nicknamed Hilol, born in 1995, native of village of Jawanon of Jayhun district of Khatlon region, 17th of January 2020, under Article 307, Part 3, Part 2, 32, Part 3, and 305, Part 1 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan, the military chamber of the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan, sentenced imprisonment him to 18 years. Kabiri was brought in by two security officers. One stayed in the basement where we were staying and the other stood outside. Then we took turns complaining. First cause of Muslim complained about how your life and Europe is going and the magnificent places and places of Europe you can enjoy expensive cars and place and not think of these people. When we saw the man, he said it was right away for you. We support you. You go and establish an Islamic state in Tajikistan. And after that last conversation, he said, you have no other wishes. No one else said anything and he left. After the man left, I learned from Ali Rizzo that he was a security man. Then I saw him for a second time on TV and was convinced that with this man was safe. One of the main sources of recruitment of young people to the ranks of the former of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party is the labor migration, which is used by the missionaries of the terrorist organization. 
Kuzov Mirzorahim, nicknamed Shohnaimi Karim, born in 1960, native of Underbark village, Yazgulom village, Wanj district, Bao, one of the leaders of the former of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party, is current in Europe. On the instructions of Kuzov Mirzorahim, the newly recruitment members will be transferred to the terrorist bases of the Muslim country known to Tajiks. Shohnaim Karim is the only villain who served his homeland on the extremist front. This is an absolute truth, but the very distributing news is that Kuzov, nicknamed Shonaim, has been appointed deputy chairman of the party's most infamous party, the former of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party. We condemn the appointment of Kuzov as the deputy chairman of the former of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party, a group of American-based terrorists loyal to the national line of government. Kuzov has no moral light to represent such organizations in opposition to the national and secular thinking of the people of Badakhshan. The escape of his family to find the loot cannot be called a political struggle. Davladbek Shorukhov, a resident of Rushan district, put it in his article, Shonaimi Karim is the only and last traitor of the motherland. On the instructions of Kabiri Kuzuf Mirzorahim, together with his brothers, gathered lost and illiterate young people in Russia who were far from modern knowledge and sense, and then through third and fourth countries to transfer them to the former of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party, headquarters for military training, then in agreement with Kabiri Kuzuf Mirzorahim, summoned a person familiar with him and the country special services, Satorov Ayomidin in February 2016, and appointed him in charge of anti tajik ideological work in military bases and as a teacher of religious teachings. Kuzov Shonaim called me and said that chairman had ordered you to come. We really need you now. Then I was sent money and I bought a plane ticket and at the airport I was met by Kuzov Rustam, Shonaim's brother, and he hired a taxi to take me there where I met Shonaim Kuzov. He visited me for a few days and then started to explain the situation slowly and said that we have gathered young people in the military bases of Mozandaron, Iraq, Pardis, Bumihan in these places and we are training them. Your task is to prepare them spiritually for jihad. Kuzov Mirzorahim was shooting at a group of Tajik youth and making not conversations and false promises. It's a pity that this party, fortunately in previous years and today, which is abroad, has not taken any steps in the interests of the nation and the state. And all that he did and still does today is all about noise and media coverage and excitement. And unfortunately today, through migrants, those young people who are out of the country with needs, they are still trying to attract members and supporters outside of Tajikistan, as they did before in the Republic of Tajikistan use. And as we noted before, some of our young people who are abroad, and of course it's natural that they work more emotionally, don't have the ability to analyze the theatric and theoric of the opposition to the outside world, the country, and are given the leadership of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party. And we want them not to give into these rumors and sensations and to put aside their feelings, but to use them mentally based on analysis and based on the experience of those who have this experience. A group of 25 young Tajiks known in the country's military camps as Mirzorahim Kuzov were supervised by specialists from the country's special services who provided them with special terrorist training. In addition, it confirmed that the accommodation, meals and education were provided by special services known to our country and they were paid $150 per month. I come from 100% and witnessed the misguided youth that Kabiri and the followers of the terrorist organization of the Renaissance Party brought to the cities of the Bumehan, Pardis, Mozandaron, and Iraq were supported with a small sum of money which was measure 752 months, the amount of food that a person can eat is a piece of dry bread. How, in fact, of the terrorist organization of the Islam Renaissance Party was allocated a large amount of the hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars, most of which was taken by Kabiri and Kuzov Mirzorahim to go to Europe and continue the sabotage against our state. Former of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party leaders Kuzov Mirzorahim Karimovich, nicknamed Shonaimi Karim, and Amonbekov Nemat Sulaimonbekovic, born in 1971, native and resident of Tangi village, Suchon Jamuat, Shurnon district, Gbao, Tajik, head of the former. 
IRP's office in Tajikistan, who is a resident of this country, regularly received information about the condition of the militants at the terrorist base. Look at this revolutionary group in every phrase shamelessly refers to the national identity to be Tajik. In the 20s of the last century, it was the Tajik who almost caused the internal statelessness of the Tajiks, and the last 90s have led to the possibility of irreversible defeat of our national statehood. The members of this group are apparently human, but in the reality, there are those to whom the use of the wood human is dangerous. They are by no means personal. These are the continuation of the uneducated people of the historical homeland. This is their hereditary disease. I apologize to you as a member of the Islamic revival. I apologize to you. In 1992, a lot of hard work took place in our country. More than 150,000 lives were lost, or more or less. Human blood was spilled on the ground, not the blood of any animal. Human blood. Many people migrated to neighboring countries. There is still the cry of some mothers when the child will come. Don't, please, do not support of the terrorist organization of the Islamic Renaissance Party. Do not pursue wrongdoing. Pursue. One who made a mistake can be forgiven, but one who betrayed will not be forgiven. Information sources of terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party. The special services of a Muslim country known to Tajiks use all ways through financial support in order to direct propagandic extensive activity of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party. In 2007, this country divided about $1,200,000 U.S. dollars for creating TV channel of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, and through such amount of money, the adventurous revivalists have founded the television studio of Sadoi Mardum, means the voice of people from European regions. Akhbar.com Salimov Mirzo Sodikovic, nicknamed Mirzoi Salimpur, was born on December 12, 1969 in Hisar town, Tajik by nationality with higher education, graduated from Tajik National University, married, has four children. From 2000 to 2016, he worked as correspondent at Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, in Prague, Czech Republic. An unsuccessful journalist, provocator, fraudster, ungrateful and arrogant because of trying only for profit, not professionally informing important events, was fired from the Radio Liberty for non-compliance with the basic principles of journalism. After his dismissal from Radio Liberty in 2016 by the directs and support of the leader of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, Kabiri, he created and led the Akhbar.com site that is for propagandizing terroristic ideas and the site is completely financially supported by a Muslim country known to Tajiks, having contribution on propagandizing ideological ideas of this terroristic organization, he the responsible of information section of terrorist ideas. By decision of the Supreme Court of the Republic of Tajikistan from February 18, 2020, Akhbar.com is recognized as a site servicing for terrorist organizations and as an information wing of terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party and its functioning is prohibited over the Republic of Tajikistan. 
Salimpur was described as a gossip, splendor, prized and flatter person among his colleagues. Like his communist father, whose name was Rafiq Salim of Sangak, and after the revival of the Renaissance Basmachis in 1992, the official changed his name to Sodiq, that means reliable of Renaissance Basmachis. It is true that blood looks after blood, and today, through his created site, the news of Basmachis and revivalists, Mirzo Salimpur is accomplishing those plans of his old relatives, which begin from the leader of Basmachis of Karotegin Fuzail Mahsum, Mirzo Salimpur, foreign agent. Time has always been the judge of revealing all hidden secrets, events, plans and intentions at all times. Only time reveals hypotheses, assumptions, suspicions and problems with convincing evidence based on invisibility and tells the truth to everyone. Mirzoi Salimpur, which we would like to talk about in this article, a few lines, is one of such people who with all his secretive efforts, the process of life has revealed his character and personality. Even it cannot be believed that he deliberately set foot on the path that he left behind, but the reality is that he embarked on the right path and every day more and more deeply immersed in the essence of his actions. Why? Who made him do it? Faith of being extremist. According to publications, Akbar.com is a free site, but it is not free from the dollar and euro of the West terrorist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party as well as its leadership and financiers. This is a fabricated part of the information and missionary manure which, like all similar medias, throw stones at the constitutional structure and national values of Tajikistan. Salimpur is not respected in society. Reputation will be earned by servicing to your people. He wants to live like all of us, and we need money to live. One lives in migration, the second in the field, the third in school, the fourth in the market, and the other with hard labor. Salimpur also works. He collects news from different resources, sells them by processing slightly, exaggerating, distorting and adding tone to the story. His cooked food is from the salt of revivalists that has become poisonous to his body. He earns money only by provoking and lying about his motherland. And today in the movements of Salimpur and one of his associates, Said Yunus Istaravshani, who receive money from one fund problem is turned to a market product. They consider themselves bearer of truth and in the basic of their activity is struggle against national interests and his welfare of their people and nation. Mirzo Salimpur's behavior and actions can be analyzed and evaluated from two points of view. First, although he belongs to a new generation, he could not free himself from the slavery of his original ignorant ideas. He misunderstood the idea of returning to one's origin and called it a negative aspect. With his knowledge and diploma from the very beginning of his career, he preferred to follow extremist ideas, of course not with a gun but with a pencil. Since the 1990s, the second generation of Basmachis, the new revivalists, he began to preach. He walked with them, sharing their acts such as murders, arsons, robberies and the destruction of all signs of secularism, first of all teachers. He was a positive introducer of the activities. When the extremists were defeated, he also left Tajikistan like them. After beginning the new functioning period of revival terrorists in Europe, Mirzo Salimpur, who was working in Radio Liberty till this time, was fired from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, for not turning in to his colleagues and founded Akhbar.com site. Of course, with funding the sponsors of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party from West and East. For several years now, he has been trying to rekindle the flames of connection in Tajik society by publishing analytic, informational, provocative and false news. He considers the repetition of a new civil conflict as the task and mission of his lies. Secondly, the activities of Mirzo Salimpur should be analyzed and evaluated in terms of law as a foreign agent. In other countries, including the Russian Federation, on November 25, 2017, the law on mass media was adopted, which is popular among the population as the law on foreign agents. 
In other words, according to the law on mass media, both Mirzo Salimpur and the citizens of Tajikistan who provide him with information are considered foreign agents. Mirzo Salimpur has already involved more than 20 residents of the country in his criminal activity. In particular, in order to obtain distorted, false and sensational information from the political, economic, social and cultural life of the country, 21,681 U.S. dollars was sent to his tragic sources through 111 identified banking operations. The funds were transferred through Eschata, Imun International, Sohib Kor Bank and other banks. In most cases, in order to hide his identity as a buyer of news, he transferred funds through the Czech Republic through his wife, Hosimova Nazir Bibi Sangi Morodovna, and his son, Bakhtovar Mirzo. There are also cases of money transfers through Russian banks. Here we do not account for funds through the Kiwi wallet, web money, and so on systems. In order to prove these words, we can bring example some of Salimpur's most active sources. Fozilov Khurshed Sanginovich was born in 1985, a native and resident of Panjakin town, a journalist. During 2017-2019, from Mirzo Salimpur, he received from 70 to 240 US dollars per month, only 27 times and totally 3,910 US dollars. Ismailova Saudad Ismailovna was born in 1995 native and resident of Ash district, a journalist. She received 1,670 U.S. dollars from Salimpur on 11 cases. Mahmad Aminov Shahridin Saiduloyevich was born in 1980, a native of Kobodion district, resident of Dushanbe city, five times in his name, three times in his wife's name, Mahmad Nazarova Sheh, four times in the name of his nephew Mahmad Nazarov Sheh, and generally he received about 1,380 US dollars. Azam Furuzon Okhonovich was born in 1989, native of Kushikat village of Aini district, resident of Dushanbe city, journalist. According to bank information, he received 1,260 US dollars from Mirzo Salimpur in 12 cases. Azimov Rustambek Hikoyatuloyevich was born in 1990, native and resident of Honakov village, council officer region, correspondent. For the sent information directly himself and through his colleagues, Davlatwa M.S. and Rajabwa N.M., he totally received 1,240 U.S. dollars from Mirzo Salimpur in nine cases. Davlatva Mahina Sai Jafarovna was born in 1981, native of Vahda town, resident of Dushanbe city, correspondent. She is sponsored by Mirzo Salimpur in amount of 1,220 US dollars in seven cases. The list of such sources can be continued, but these are enough for proving mentioned words. In accordance with the fourth paragraph of Article 1 of the Law of the Republic of Tajikistan on periodical publications and other mass media, number 961 from March 19, 2013, under the Accreditation Word Registration of Representatives of Mass Media in State Bodies or Relevant Organizations is understood firstly for access to information, then its sharing. In other words, any journalist in the Republic of Tajikistan who collects information in favor of any media must be accredited as a representative of that media. Akhbar.com sources are not accredited and they secretly collect information and send it to Mirzo Salimpur. And this is despite the fact that Part 2 of Article 3 of this law allows free search access and dissemination of information, expression and dissemination of opinions in periodicals and other mass media only in the forms provided by this law. In addition, in each of the secret agreements of Mirzo Salimpur, with his information sources, there is a clear violation of the law. Thus, Part 2 of 24th Article of the Labor Code of the Republic of Tajikistan requires that the text of the labor contract should include 18 questions. However, a study of the agreement signed between Akhbar.com and journalist Davlatva Mahina Said Jafarovna on February 1, 2018, shows that it ignores the five issues required by the code. In particular, there is no address of permanent residence, 
tax identification, number of worker, period of labor, contract, rights of the employer and employee, the procedure for changing the employment contract and the serial number of the employment contract. It means that one, Mirza Salimpur signed the contract and literally without the consent of his sponsors and uses journalists mainly as a source of information, not as professional. Two, in fact, Mirza Salimpur used the opportunities of journalists for his own selfish purposes and in the event of any accident of misunderstanding, he could easily abandon them. At the same time, Mirza Salimpur incited journalists to violate paragraph 7 of part 1 of article 19 of the tax code of the Republic of Tajikistan by smuggling money. The taxpayer, after receiving the amount, must be registered as a taxpayer. Usually, journalist is a representative of the same class of society whose activities are open and make the shortcomings of the state and society real for the public. There should be no doubt about the reliability of his information and all aspects of his professional activities in general. If a person is convinced of the legality of his actions, he will never run away from the law. According to the behavior of Mirzo Salimpur and his sources, it is clear that his main goal is different and he wants to realize his evil intentions against the Tajik people and the national statehood under the guise of noble journalism. Unfaithful journalist drones his roots with an axe. Moreover, he is constantly in conflict with his brothers and he never helped them. As his brother Ilhom Salimov wrote on his Facebook page about his brother's behaviors and provocative actions, you must know that it was your dishonesty that led to the death of our parents. Let's analyze once again that harm of benefits Mirza Salimpur's brand brought to our family, to me personally, and to our mother in Tajikistan. 1. Our dead father was a member of the district bureau of the Communist Party and how the second head of the district was on shame because of you. 2. Going to doors of hostels of institutes and universities you allow them to make rally for the Tajik language but why today your children do not know Tajik language which is their native language. 3. Our father was fired for your provocative recourse against then leadership of the Republic. 4. At a rally of 20 people, you burned Kamsamol tickets because you went to the Artec Sanitarium twice with the support of the Kamsamol Committee of the District. 5. You wrote a critical article in Charogiru's newspaper about our father's teacher Alawidin Urokov and Jurabeg Murodov, who were friends of our aunt's family. 6. In the first month of your marriage, near all of us, you told our mother that I did not take my wife to wash your clothes. 7. You wrote an article about Rahmon Nabiev, an advisor to the president of Tajikistan, and what words said father to you. 8. During the appearance of the two squares, you wrote that the residents of Kulob town have the slogan, No to Islam, although there was not such slogan you lied, that is, you mixed the two fields with each other. About 200,000 people died. Why don't you write about this operation today? The 2,000 people were killed on my initiative. Ilhom has left a lot of pain on this page, but we confine ourselves to this because it is traditionally said what is adverse does not need to be explained. The statement by the press center of the General Prosecutor's Office of the Republic of Tajikistan in connection with the closure of Akhbor.com and Nazad.ru sites which share extremist ideas of prohibited terrorist organizations, especially extremist ideas and opinions of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, it a timely decision. The residents of our country are already aware of this, aware of this initiative and realized that the information sources of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, such as Akhbor.com, Islaw.net, Payom.net, Kimyoi Saudad, and Vastok News, are extremist and banned. We would like to draw the attention of all citizens in the country and abroad to the fact that in case of cooperation and assistance in providing information on Akhbar.com website, the perpetrators will be prosecuted in accordance with the Article 307, Part 2 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan. A Burizoda, caution, communication with Akhbar.com is a criminal offense.
شیمیای سعادت Borhono Yunus Abosovich, with the nicknames of Kuri Yunus and Said Yunus Istaravshani, was born on October 13, 1969, in Istaravshan town of Sukh province, Tajik by nationality, married, has two children. Since 1995, he is living in Qom town. Graduate and teacher of the Center of the Religious Education of Imam Humayni in Qom town and a guide for directing the youth of Istaravshan town to get extremist education in the centers of Islamic countries. One of the worst enemies of the constitutional order of the Republic of Tajikistan in Supreme Council of the Terrorist Extremist Organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party. In 1993, the Sukh Regional Court sentenced him to five years in prison for terrorist activities and in 1995 he was released from prison in accordance with the law of the Republic of Tajikistan on amnesty. Said Yunus Isarafshani has also been working in the Islamic Union since 2008 where Shiite clerics are trained. He personally accepted the Shiite Madhab, thereby translates and publishes religious and extremist books and pursues a policy of disseminating the ideas of this Madhab among the people of Tajikistan, Afghanistan and Central Asia. Indeed, his adventurous actions do not affect him in any way, but people are upset that he chooses the nickname of Istaravshani in the name of the ancient Istaravshan town. The residents of Istaravshan known Said Yunus Burhonov well today and in the past. Said Yunus' grandfather Burhon was the warehouse manager during difficult times. The hunger was so severe that people did not have bread to eat. He steals wheat to satisfy his greed and sets fire to the barn to hide his misconduct. For this, he was arrested and deported to Siberia for 10 years. The fruit does not fall far from the tree. The father Said Yunus Abosov is also known among the residents of Isaravshan for stealing horses. If you ask in Isaravshan who is the father of Said Yunus, all in union say Abbas is a thief of horses. However, his father's son is an example. The proverb says. After embarrassment, the Burhonov's family moved to proletarian township of Proletar district, the current Jabor Rasolov district, where with the reason of praying and saying dua, they accomplished the had behaves with sick and needy women. They were refused to participate in measures of residence for several years. As if they hadn't good relation with the neighbors, they returned to Borod region of Istaravshan after several years. Said Yunus, who due to illiteracy could not continue his education at a vocational school, chose the easy way and became a mullah from the blessings of that time. He falsely marries the daughter of his teacher, Mullah Maruf, and rules his wife into the ranks of Salafist extremists. This deceived woman is imprisoned in neighboring Tajikistan and dies in exile away from her children. Relatives of the woman are still looking for Burhonov, who is known as Blind Yunus. Said Yunus seditions do not end there. He deceives a 17-year-old girl, Sanginova Sumaya, a resident of Isaravshan, to study in Qom. While his first wife was still in prison, he married a lonely girl with the promise of a prosperous home and a good life. He lived with her for a, for a year and had a daughter. Some time later, Said Yunus also divorced with Sanginova Sumaya. Now she and her child are homeless and distraught. While in Tajikistan, Said Yunus was involved in the drug trade and used thousands of tricks to mobilize his relatives. The residents of Istaravshan are thieves whose brother and wife have been imprisoned with drug trafficking abroad. For the sake of money, his brother Burhan of Yusuf Abosovich involved in drug trafficking and the latter was sentenced to more than five years imprisonment. Another brother, Burhan of Masur Abosovich, who was to study in Mozandaran in 2002, he was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for involvement in extremism-related crimes. After the amnesty, he was again detained for drug trafficking and sent back to prison. After high school, Yunus Burhonov traveled abroad to foreign countries of Damascus, Syria, as a missionary of ideology, religion, and adventure politics. 
He, along with several persons who committed the crime, including the chairman of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, Kabiri, and several persons who are under criminal prosecution, sent through the social network Facebook the personal page of Kimei Saodat, Chemical of Happiness. To Tajikistan, the leading TV program Persia TV, K+, the fire of the war in Syria and Iraq. Atovlu Dodojon, who was once a close friend of Istaravshan, published a story about Istaravshani's former companion on Facebook. The material is two brothers, Said Yunus Istaravshani and his brother Mahmud Khon Burhanov, call a lot of people and scold them. Why did you like Dodojon Atoyloyev or write a comment? And the most interesting thing is that anyone who joins Dodojon Atoyloyev will lose the aid of the Islamic Republic of Iran. I don't have a letter. Maybe after the separation from me, they become known to the cashier or treasurer of the special services of the country to the Tajiks, or in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Ministry of Information, or in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Ministry of Information. The two brothers, Sayyid Yunus Istaravshani and his brother Mahmoud John Burhonov, called many people and scolded them. Why did you like or wrote the sacred text to Dodojon Atovlo? And above all, warning, someone with Dodojon Atovlo will be deprived of the assistance of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party. Perhaps after parting with me, the cashier or treasurer of the special services of the Tajik country was known, or the Minister of Foreign Affairs or the Minister of Employment information about card payments. In particular, Said Yunus Sarafshani, one of the main ex activities of the United Nations is to protect the territorial integrity, political independence and territorial integrity of states. In this regard, Dodojon Atovloyev wrote, one recognizable Sarafshani who said, my grandfather was a bandit. How can you accurately determine the essence of this creature? A criminal case has been opened on this fact and the investigation is underway. They compare it with the thought of this postpartum mix. Said Yunus is the founder and responsible for the widespread extremism of the website Kimya Saudat, Chemical of Happiness. Website Kimya Saudat, Chemical of Happiness, in 2008 known by the specialized service of the Muslim country to Tajiks, www.kimyaisaudat.com. Christian and financing will be implemented from 2015 at www.ksaudat.com. Prince materials in Tajik. In December 2016, he was officially registered, registered as a citizen of the Republic of Tajikistan, Burhon of Yunus Abosovich, Said Yunus Isaraushani, by email IP address 192.0.78.25. In fact, the site is managed from the territory of the country known to the people of Tajikistan, equipped with advanced technical equipment and clearly establishes coordinated activities in relation to the national interests of the Republic of Tajikistan in the virtual space. In order to reveal the true location of the founders and users of the site, it demonstrates its location in other country. The special services of a Muslim country known to Tajiks for its erogence are not limited to the activities of a single television channel. In this regard, they have stepped up their activities on the TV channel Chemical TV. From the position of the country that the level of its supplies is not inferior to foreign advanced networks, as you know, the nation's detractors widely use monetary in incentives to achieve their impure goals. In this regard, the Kim TV network, represented by its head Said Yunus Sarvashani, pays a certain amount to the authors for the development and transmission of one article directed against the national interests. The Memorandum of Understanding between the two countries was signed on July 4th, 2019, 2019 and unfortunately is not being implemented. Despite the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Republic of Tajikistan and the Muslim Republic, known to Tajiks about the methods and framework of bilateral cooperation in the field of security, the website Kimyo Saudat, Chemical of Happiness, 
www.ksaada.com and risalat.tj www.risalat.tj.com continue hostile information activities aimed at countering the constitutional structure and national interests of the Republic of Tajikistan. Members of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party Yunus Burhanov propagate the extremist ideas of this terrorist organizations and organization and promotes the implementation of hostile plans of its leaders and activists. Since February 12, 2018, along with Equality Temurion Raushan, Temur Varki, Alim Sherzamonov, is the founder of the anti-drug organization Tajik Freedom Forum. In September 2018, he was elected a member of one of the subdivisions of terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, the so-called National Pact. As you know, the site Kimio Saudat is used as a means of propaganda of this anti-national pact from a position known to Tajiks. Agreement are actually from countries Tajiks. To complete this work, Yunus Burhan of people with anti-national and anti-government ideology on this website Kimio Saudat. The articles published on this website have a based and provocative content and are directed against the interests of the constitutional, national and state structure of the Republic of Tajikistan. This activity contracted Article 1 of the Memorandum of Understanding and Article 33 of the Law of the Republic of Tajikistan on periodicals and other mass media. However, it is clear to everyone that today Said Yunus is in the service of foreign masters, the circles of non-religious extremists and the leadership of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party and does not act outside their instructions. Betrayal and crimes are based on the decision of the Court of Somoni District of Dushanbe dated 20th of October 2014 in the criminal case 46511 in connection with the commission of a crime under Article 307 Part 2, Part 1 and 2 of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan to be found guilty and declared an official search. The post says about such people as oppressors, failures, traitors, demons and slaves. There is a thousand year journey from you to Muslim, another thousand years to the human limit. Sadruddinov Muhammad Iqbal Kalandarovich, nicknamed Muhammad Iqbali Sadruddin, date of birth 15th of May 1978, native of Bokhtar city of Khatlon region, Tajik nationality, higher education, married, has five children, member of the former terrorist extremist organization of the Islamic Revival Party. Sadruddinov Kalandar, the eldest son who is one of the founding members of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party, by father's ordering, studied extremism at religious centers and training bases for young terrorists in Afghanistan in 1992-1997 under the guidance of his father has been revived. In 1997, he returned to his homeland to propagate extremism, publish and translate religious and extremist literature of extremist parties and movements, and became one of the founders and vicious missionaries of the extremist movement Salafia in Tajikistan. From 2009 to 2013, he headed the propaganda organization Vasatia in Tajikistan, and due to non-compliance with the requirements of the legislation of the Republic of Tajikistan determined by the Ministry of Justice of the Republic of Tajikistan, he left the country and sought asylum in France. His father, Sadruddinov Kalandar, with the promotion of ancient ideology in 1992, the rushed residents of the Kuran Chube zone, now Bokhtar, is forced to make it a mass party organization and in the conditions of Afghanistan divide the Tajiks into Vash Western relatives and strangers and unit all. The tasks assigned to perform butter-making tasks in the aid system are extended to the refugee people. Rebellion and immorality are in the blood of the Sadurdinovs, as Mulo Kalandar in 1985 was sentenced of imprisonment by a court in 
Korontepa now Bokhtar to two years in prison for his immoral and inhuman treatment of pets. Mulo Kalandar as a filthy and dishonest man left this world by the will of God in a foreign land and none of the relatives, none even his stupid son Muhammad Iqbal died at his father's funeral. His father died in Poland and his son in France. Neither the visa nor the permit was attended. In addition, could this be a harsher punishment for a true Muslim? The son of one of the founders of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party has spent his life unconsciously genocide and nepotism. Muhammad Iqboli Sadridin is a mercenary of foreign masters and enemy of the Tajik nation. There are several reasons why Muhammad Iqboli Sadridin is considered a line to this nation. First, belonging to extremist and anti-national circles abroad. Two, partnership in anti-Tajik plans of the territory of third countries. If in the 19th such a country was Afghanistan, now due to the monetary tendency of this generation, the countries around the Gulf. Three, the fascination of Muhammad ibn Sadridin and his interage with the ideology of the Brotherhood, that is the ideology that gave rise to ISIS and Al-Qaeda Al and reduced Syria and Iraq to the ground. Four, Muhammad Iqbal Sadridin's Affiliation with this land is also suspicious and dangerous because he has published anti-national material in a foreign language and as a tool of the foreign surrounding and as an anti-information base of regional rivals against the achievements of the Republic. 5. An alert child sucks on the nipples of two midwives. Muhammad Iqbal Sadruddin had already announced but he forgot that free cheese is only in the he must give answers to every world. To every word. The researcher Komilov F. in the article Muhammad Iqbal Sadruddin is an insurgent or the so called language of criminals. He looked, Muhammad Iqbal Sadruddin is the only person who joys and rejoices in the beginning of every defect in Tajikistan. The activities of this so called unfo unfortunate, dishonest, unsuccessful oppositionist and his insector incestor inside and outside the last three years show that he is unwittingly opposed to the critical projects of the nation because the spirit of slavery and servitude is so ingrained in his mind that he wants everyone to be like them. The leader of the foreign Salafis, Muhammad Iqbal Sadruddin, is in fact a newcomer to the security services of a third country. 17th of January 2017, in relation to Said Mumin of M. Q., criminal case proceedings have been instituted against him under the provisions 15393 in accordance with the Article 3, Part 2 of Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan, and an investigation is underway. The poet said, it would be unfortunate if he build a single mosque, the odd one will fall and the Qibla will be crude. Boboev Abdusator Khojaevich, nickname Mahmoud Abdusator, date of birth 5th of September 1968, native of Bose district of Khatlon region, Tajik nationality, higher education, married member of the Supreme Board of the Terrorist Extremist Organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party. Boboev Abdusator is one of the farkest supporters of forcible change of the constitutional system and an active member of the terrorist organization and the former of Islam Renaissance Party took part in the coup attempt organized by the traitor of the Tajik nation Nazar Zoda Abdualim. After the defeat of the betrayal, betrayal Boboyev AK fled Tajikistan with his comrades and resides in the Republic of Poland. In an attempt to cover up his heinous crimes and to present himself as a head of the nation, Kabiri set up a provocative website zindonion.com under the direction and funding of the former IRP leader in which he caused his accomplices of committing several heinous crimes, the verdict shows political victims. In fact, for Boboev Abdusator, the main purpose of joining the organization was financial legitimation. In the 80th, Abdusator came to the conclusion that Mullah Sheep was a very profitable business. 
Boboev became so accustomed to the way of life that one day he declared himself a display of them and the next day another disciple. As he moves away from science and knowledge, he does not get a diploma, but he always has a bread beard with him as a tradition. He played the role of a shareholder and task allocation in the Commission on National Reconciliation. Such people are never trustworthy. Such persons are never really able, as in mind, so in spray. The future of such people is unknown and immaculate. Regarding Boboev AK on January 20, 2016, by the side of the General Prosecutor's Office announced criminal case proceedings have been instituted against him under the provisions 5129 in accordance with the Article 307, Part 1 of Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan, and he was declared wanted. Beginning in 1918, the financial care of the country's special services to double the information struggle of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party has doubled, which is a continuation of the country's 2016 conflict program. The country has allocated more than $6 million for this adventure program, which has been used in the following areas. Establishments of radio and television, funding of more than $2 million U.S. million, strengthening the activities of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party branches in European countries, totaling more than $3.1 million. U.S. million. Involvement of human rights organizations, payment of lawyers' fees, only 1.5 million U.S. dollars. The terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party propaganda and anti-government ac activities were conducted mainly via the Internet, the website payom.net, Vastok News, Kimyoi Saudat, and Ozodan Deshon are fully funded by a country known to the people of Tajikistan. The terrorist extremist organization and the former of Islamic Renaissance Party has set up an internet radio station Payom in one of the Commonwealth or Independent States at a cost of more than $15,000 provided by the country's special services. The main focus of the media's information activities is the propaganda of the ideology of the former IRP and the incitement of the peaceful people of the country. Every day on the website payam.net, akhbar.com, kaysaadat.com, nahzad.org, zindonion.com, ozodandishon.org, vastognews.org, reform.net, risolattj.com, parstoday.com, and internet video channels, YouTube, Facebook, payam.tv, Group 24, publish false and far-fetched information. The moment that seems to suit them attacked, attract their reputation and momentary attention. The Tajik nation, which has suffered at the hands of his vicious and bloodthirsty group, knows exactly who they are and what is their goal. On October 2, 2019, the Supreme Court of Tajikistan sentenced Kabiri, the former head of the terrorist organization and the Islamic Renaissance Party, in absentia under Article 16 of the Court of the Republic of Tajikistan. Kabri has been charged with crimes under Article 107, murder in, in excess of the required level of defense, 189 incitement to national, racial, regional or religious hearted, 199 theft of weapons, ammunition, explosives, 195 illegal exclusion, transfer, possession, transfer, seizure of weapons, ammunition, explosives and explosives, 306 usurpation or retention of power by force, 313 arm insurrection, 307 public incitement to forcibly change the constitutional order of the Republic of Tajikistan and other articles of the Criminal Code of the Republic of Tajikistan. Kabiri, the grave for committing serious and terrorist crimes is included in the search of the regional anti-terrorist structure as terrorist number one with a red sign. Kabri not only betrayed the motherland and the nation, he also betrayed his allies, 
For example, Zarafo Rahmani, a former member of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party Executive Board, said in an interview, most of Kabiri's relatives are now in Europe, and I have to admit that the party leader betrayed us, he said. He knew we would be arrested and did nothing to save us. He was able to expel his relatives from the country and even expelled his sister just a few days ago. He knew we would be arrested for our crimes and Kabiri's leadership. Zarafo Rahmoni, Kabiri betrayed us, as the saying goes. The younger you are, the more potion you will eat. The influential German media outlet Abendzeitung München cities the website of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party regional anti-terrorist structure reported on January 29, 2016 in accordance with the regulations on the single register of the terrorist extremist and separatist organizations. The terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party banned the Islamic Revival Party of Tajikistan, listed number 70, has been added to the list of terrorist organizations in three languages, Russian, Chinese and English. The regional anti-terrorist structure of the SCO in its resolution number 473 of September 2017 took into account the information of the Republic of Tajikistan on the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party and instructed the executive committee to work with the competent authorities of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party member states to prevent the territory of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party member states. Earlier, such terrorist organizations as Al-Qaeda, ISIS, the Muslim Brotherhood and others were added to the list. The Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS, Counterterrorism Center has included the IRP as a terrorist and extremist organization in a joint database on combating terrorism, extremism and organized crime. One who made a mistake can be forgiven, but one who betrayed will not be forgiven. The complex events of today's world, especially the intense wars, unrest in different parts of the world, displacement of millions of innocent people, the destruction of hundreds of pro prosperous and historic cities, the relics of world culture and the destruction of the foundations of some countries are once again a valuable achievement through the patriotism and peace and national unity of the people of Tajikistan. Former members of the terrorist party are Muslims. They speak on behalf of Islam. The Nahzati launched a civil war against their nation under Islamic slogans, killing more than 150,000 of their compatriots. After returning to Tajikistan, hundreds of other Tajiks who were our national pride were terrorized. If the coronavirus had unconsciously destroyed the people, the revivalists would have known, studied and deliberately killed every Tajik. So judge for yourselves, so judge for yourselves which of these is more bloodthirsty. Representatives of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party or Coronavirus TTE. With the support of foreign surroundings and using the ignorance of citizens, they want to achieve their goals in Tajikistan again. History will never forget the treacherous, harmful and immoral actions of the former Islamic Revival Party. The mentality of the Tajik people is no longer the idea of the 90s of the last century. Knowledge, skills, national identity of the people have risen and gained a broad world view. You are deprived of the spiritual power of the state in the 30 years of national statehood of the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party did not allow for memories. With all this betrayal, deception and lies, do you want to believe still in the Tajik nation? You are caught in a mental and mental illness. 
perhaps after the diagnosis it will be found out that you can also get infected with other bones like as coronavirus in the 21st century. No America, no Turk, no Russian, no German, no Jew, no Mongol, no matter who they are in their attitude to their nation in difficult times, regardless of their political, religious, religious beliefs, has not descended to this level of dishonesty. This is the same historical consciousness of the state. It is the continuation of the same treacherous ideas of patriotism and shameless slavery. Thus, ISIS and the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party are essentially the same organization with the same designers, sponsors. Their purpose, ideology and way of working are the same. With that in mind, it doesn't matter if we say ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram or the terrorist extremist organization of the former Islamic Renaissance Party. The names are different but the function and the sense are the same. It doesn't matter if we say Bin Laden, Mullah Umar, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi or Kabiri. Names are different, places are different, forms are different but responsibilities, roles, hosts, sponsors are the same. Dear viewers, it should be realistically assessed it should be realistically assessed that the glorious people of tajikistan have proudly passed the ordeal of history and with hard work dedication and strong will have inquired and prospered their ancestral land in this context it must be acknowledged that the progress and achievements of independent tajikistan in a short historical period have made it possible to unite all tajik it's a matter of pride that the period of independence has brought to life the style manner and methods of governing the Tajik nation. It covers all aspects of political, economic, social, scientific, cultural, spiritual and defense life. The school of nation government was established. It is very important and necessary for the youth of the country and future generations to know this fact that the civil war in Tajikistan was caused by the intervention of external forces and the betrayal of the supporters, especially terrorists and extremist clerics. Therefore, today we must show courage perseverance and devotion to the protection of national and state values and bring up our children in the spirit of patriotism and self-knowledge because there are still evil forces, especially through our own citizens trying to destabilize our young state. Tajikistan as an integral part of the world community is inextricably linked with resistance to all global threats, external threats to the internal situation in the country with a, with a spirit of self-awareness of each individual, national identity, quality and world view of every citizen.